Do a motorcycle right now? This thing's so heavy, why? Let's take the engine out. Maybe that'll help. Oh, or we'll also take the gas tank out. No, it's just giga heavy. Cool. Does have tires. Is there a place to put oil in here? Or is this a uh, one where you mix it in the tank? Do I have oil and gas? Uh, we probably could make it daytime and just <laughs> make this a lot easier on ourselves. Perfect. All right, what do we have? We have gas and we have oil. How much do these tanks hold? How much? 13? 0.5. 13 and a half. What if we do 11 in gas? 11? And then the rest in oil maybe? And we'll see what ratio that gives us. Might be a little high, but that's fine. I think that'll be fine. Okay. That works. How is the issue of actually being able to pick it up? Say, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so what we need now, we are switching. I don't think I brought any pallets with me, did I? even sit on this <laughs> the barrel man what's in this one is this water yes how am I actually doing with that I'm good on water Can I put any motor on this? I guess we'll find that out some other time. We'll figure that out. And these are supposed to be like actual side saddlebags? No. 
there isn't like an actual connecting point for them. I'd rather just use baskets, honestly. Wait, what's in here? A little bit of gas. We'll take it. Give me these. Shit. I think they have baskets up top. Take this door off. We have to bring the bed. That's mandatory. Because we need that to get on top of things that we can't get on top of. Come on. Give me my basket. Oh my god. Can I put those tires on the bike? Would that... work? Where's, what, what ones are better? It does work. Would that be better though? That's the question we're all wondering. Who knows? Um, let's actually use the regular tires to get the actual motorcycle experience before we start swapping out too many parts. Alright, let me stand this up. Oh, I can't. Why is, why is this so heavy? a little no <laughs> I have a feeling that this is going to be slightly annoying to drive especially if we tip it and up please okay grab this Perfect. All right, now I wish I had a freaking um pallet right now. I'm sure, we'll find some at some place. I can't imagine this will attach to this if it's held up against it like that. No, I need something to latch on to. Guess we can just do this. No. Get off my head. And the barrel's too heavy. This is a, a pain in the ass. It's, it tips too easily to add anything to it. And then you gotta take everything off once you tip it. Okay, I have to be careful while zooming around this to prevent it from tipping. Give me right there. And right there, no. I don't know how you could even line these up well. I don't think you can. 
All right. So then we just do one of these. Yeah, that won't be annoying to drive with. Best truly a bedhead. As long as it doesn't fall over. I'm good with it right now. Sausages are still on here. We'll just... Attach that to the bed. What's in here? Nothing. It's my water? Yes. Gotta bring the water. Probably some oil too would be a good idea. Can't sleep yet. Oh god. I don't know how long I can I'm gonna be able to run this. Oh god, it's so dark. This may be a a one stop until we swap this out for something. Um, do I have another basket? I think we're ready to go. No, we're not. Do we have another basket to put this in? Or another side bag or something? Yeah. Bring this as a just in case. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. heard of pyramid head how about bed head <laughs> yeah we definitely need to <laughs> trade this out for something the next time we stop just waiting to be able to sleep so it's not as hard to drive. How's it going, Gomyasi? Welcome in. Uh, we've 
Just swapped our car from a van to a motorcycle and I have a bed on my head. Oh my god, what happened? And now we're doing donuts, apparently. <laughs> Professional bike driver, obviously. Can handle many spin-outs. Think I can go to sleep? No, can't sleep yet. Oh wait, hang on. I know why I can't sleep yet. <laughs> Ooh. My tire fell off? Ow. Don't fall over, don't fall over, please. Okay, let me go to sleep. Anything happened to you while you were outside today? What happened? Did your computer fans fall off while you were outside? All right, let's continue onward. <laughs> So we gotta poop and pee. I got sausages hanging off one of my barrels though, so. We have food. Just gotta eat it. I wonder if you can put a bigger motor in this, though. I'll have to... I don't think I'm going to drive this thing for too long. Because when it tips over, it is a pain in the ass to pick up, but... I'd like to check to see if a bigger motor can be thrown... <laughs> can you throw a bus motor into this thing? It would be funny. We're cruising now. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, that sucks. Oh, hang on. Throwing frisbee with my friend, at, and the frisbee got stuck in a tree. We took a stick and threw it at it, and then the stick got stuck. So we threw a random object that also got stuck. Did you eventually get your frisbee down? All right, maybe this isn't so bad. So I thought it would be a pain in the ass to pick it up every time, but apparently you can just sit on it and tip it up. How much shit is now in that tree? I'll put bus tires on this thing. Maybe we stick with this for a little bit. Let's see, see how goofy we can make it. The tree looked like a Christmas tree. <laughs> you found a rope of lights, so you just chucked it up there, plugged them in. Oh, we're struggling up this hill. Oh no. No, we're gonna go backwards. Oh god. Is it overheating? Alright, we just gotta go. We just gotta zigzag up the hill. As much as we can. Never mind. I still can't even do that. Hmm. 
When we did get the frisbee down, we threw it a couple times, and then I got stuck even higher. <laughs> did you get it down again, or did you just give up at that point? I feel like I would have just given up at that point. The frisbee wants to live in that tree. We gave up. That frisbee is for someone else now. Oh my god. This thing does spin out extremely easily. <laughs> like even just the slightest bump just sends it spinning. All right, we got a building. Or do we? What is this? The frisbee wants to build a nest. Start a new life up in the tree. through any fuel. How do I get off of this thing? Oh, I gotta climb onto the bite, or onto the bed. Nice. Nothing in here? What a what a sad stop this was. Alright. We're filled up on food and water. Alright. Onward we go on our on our bike sickle. I don't know how I tipped it. There we go. Perfect. Everyone knows you you tip a bike up by sitting on it and turning the wheel. Not by picking it up yourself. Will we play some TF2 tomorrow? Uh probably not. Um I how many people does MVM play like how many people can you have in an MVM lobby is it six or is it four max six all right we'd have to I'll put it in oh, you're not part of the discard right because I do I do votes for community night um no well if you want to be you are welcome to join. Um, exclamation point Discord will bring it up. Or a link to join it. Um, but I'll put it in the community night section up there. Because I'd rather have a full lobby than play with random people that we don't know. And I'd rather play it as a full lobby. I just don't know if we have enough people that would want to play MVM. Now again, I still haven't downloaded it and <laughs> reconfigured it. I know, I think, I think there's at least two other people in there that have played TF2 and would potentially be down to play Man vs. Machine.
cruising. I'm gonna spin out soon. I can feel it. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Just keep slamming the brakes as much as I can. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe we are. No, we're swerving off into the void. <laughs> if I roll over in this thing and go flying, will I go flying off eventually? Or will I stay on? Bro, bike is from Elon Musk. Elon Musk makes a, a bike with a bed on it? It's the one product by him I'd buy. <laughs> or is it because of all the blue? I got the <laughs> the blue check mark bike. I don't gotta stop at a bus stop. It's never anything worthwhile there. This is Elon Musk. Don't don't degrade our our long driver like that. Don't bring him down to Elon Musk. Well, last time we streamed this, he he built a museum and showed the world what happened. And now he's just out on his bike. Although it kind of does look like Mars. So maybe we're up on Mars. Maybe <laughs> he finally made it to Mars and now he's just alone. <laughs> I gotta raise the bed up a little bit more so I don't have a bed frame in my way when I'm driving. And then I can drive in first person. I think there's pallets at these. I can see. Yeah, that should be on the road. And usually there's like two or three pallets here. So that should help build some sort of structure to put our bed on. Seems this sign has slight breathing problems if we are on Mars. I mean, he, he seems like he's doing fine. Maybe the bed, under the bed, it just creates oxygen for him. Some ominous red lights that are now disappearing. No car spawns either? What the heck? I was kind of hoping that there would be some sort of spawn. Iron Man Jarvis or something. <laughs> Alright, there's three pallets. Someone coughing around here. Can't see shit. I feel like there's usually a light switch in these? Question mark? No? Can I sleep? Let's go up here and sleep. No. No, they're out for outside? Okay. Well, we'll sleep anyway. Let's go this way. 
Oh, we should have sat on the chair or the toilet while we were sleeping. <laughs> I've never seen so many UFO spawns in this game. We've had a lot of them. Someday we'll shoot we'll shoot them down. <laughs> and we'll fly the UFO for ourselves. Where is he? Is he up here? No, he's downstairs. UFO, yeah. It'll shut your car down while you're driving. Why is there nothing here? What is this? Oh, it's a fuel tank. How much? Why is it so slidey right there? That carries more gas. And why do I hear weird noises from the floor level? I'll show you why. Oh my god, he's way out there. What's he doing? Oh my god, I missed. It's one of our friends. It's the neighbor Esco. We'll bring him with us. Oh my god, that's a lot of pallets. Holy... there was anything else that I wanted over here we'll do one last double check could get the rust off our bike a little bit she's a little rusty or not can you not get the rust oh there we go That's a pretty bike right there. I don't know if he can de-rust tires. So we'll just not. Um, okay. Apparently a rabbit also. Became interested in our bike. Let me do this. Pull this mess off. Burr, 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 burr. These two are stuck together. Come on. Let go. Working on it. There we go. Okay. Now, how do I disconnect these two? I guess I don't. I guess they're just stuck like that. Okay. Me. How do I. How do I tilt this up? Does it have to be on? Oh, wait. How was I doing it earlier? Oh, wait. No. No. <laughs> okay. I would like to get off the bike. Oh my god. I don't. I don't think bikes are worth it. 
Just give me four wheels at this point. No. <laughs> Some orc level IQ stuff. Be fine if the bike wasn't so damn heavy. And you could actually pick it up. But it's impossible to just pick up. We're just going to take the essentials and we'll find everything else some other time when we have a vehicle. Don't tip over again. <laughs> Essentials. Or sit. Can I sit? Come on. <laughs> I can't get off the bike now. There we go. Pick up. All right, you know what? We're just going with the bare essentials at this point. Just just the radio. Oh shit. Stand it up one last time. And before it falls over again. Put this on this one. Alright, we're ditching everything else and we're just gonna <laughs> drive off into the sunset. Why, is, why does this feel so much more shaky now? It's less, less solid with out of bed on top. Apparently. Got to use your rear views to look at yourself. It's very important. I wonder if having that like right on top of the wheel is causing all the shaking. My phone goes on fire. Is it is it using a ton of energy from your phone? Is your phone like is it using all your processing power? Oh, now it's now it's even though we're gonna spin out one of these times pretty soon I can feel it slow down a little bit
It does have a pretty good cruising speed, though. Not as bad as my PSP that creams every five seconds. Like, is it an original PSP or one of the the newer ones? The I forget what they're called. Screams. No, creams. It creams every five seconds. I have a, a launch day PSP somewhere at my parents' house. I should grab that someday. Big boat would be nice if we had a vehicle to store stuff in. I always want my um my dream is to get a PSP and play through Metal Gear Acid again. I guess I could probably just do like uh I could probably just uh what is the word I'm looking for? I don't know, old PSP that still works, and I play Pat Upon 3 on it every once in a while. Nice. I never played any of those games. They looked fun, though. Oh, I could always emulate Metal Gear Acid, probably. That game's freaking goofy, but I love the concept of uh, sneaking around card game. <laughs> I actually have never really played any of the Metal Gear games proper also. They've always intrigued me, but I never got around to it. Are any of those on... I'll leave to Discord and go with my computer account. I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> Are any of the early Metal Gear games on PC? I know they did the like remake of them, or not remake, but they did like a collection of them for like 360 and probably PS4 and PS3 era stuff. But did they ever put that out on PC? I think it was 1, 2, and 3. Which I think I've played through 3 as a kid, funnily enough. Just a porta potty out there. The building way off in the distance, it looks like maybe a house or a diner? Can't tell. got into Metal Gear games. Uh, that's what I'm saying is I, I never really did either. I always wanted to though. Just to, if not for the game, the gameplay, which is apparently also really good, but just to try to parse the story. <laughs> just try to make, make any sense of it. It's a gas station. I don't think we're going to be finding any vehicles here. I 
Oh, sick. There's a ramp here, too. Oh, I left my sausages at the other place. I should have brought those. Alright, don't tip over when I step off you. Thank you. Any boys here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Any food? Oh, we can sleep. We'll just sleep. And we won't need a light. What is this? Cigarettes. Also, I made a very bad tasting drink that will put you into a sugar rush. Would you just make Kool-Aid without the Kool-Aid? Do you have Kool-Aid out there? <laughs> Is there no fuel here? No. No on Kool-Aid or no on Kool-Aid without the Kool-Aid? Huh. No fuel. Never mind. Kool-Aid? It's too bad. Kool-Aid's pretty good. Ooh, and a bed. Is that it? Is that all I needed? Yeah. Alright. There we go. Turkish pepper into a glass water? I don't know what that means. What is Turkish peppers? Hell yeah. That was a sick jump. Wouldn't that make it spicy? Are you, are peppers different for you? <laughs> it's a very spicy candy in Finland. So you made spicy sugar water? There's some, yes. <laughs> I mean, enjoy it, I guess. I, I don't think I would be into that. But there, there's some, like, craft beer breweries out here that have been putting, like, jalapenos in their beers. And it's actually surprisingly good. It gives it a weird little, like, kick to it. I want to do wheelies. I don't think you can do wheelies in this game. Your game makes you want to drink normal water. <laughs> so do you ha just have a glass of that and a glass of normal water sitting there and you just drink that and you're like, oh wow, I could go for some regular water now. Just, just pooping while I'm driving my bike. Post a pic on Discord. Sure. Oh man, look at all these buildings up here. Is that a diner? I'll have to check it next time I stop. This building just out? Yeah. We're gonna make a detour to here. There's a dude on the roof. And no cars. Oh my god. Oh no. Get me up. Yeah. Uh, 
turn that off. I don't think I can show that on Twitch. Oh, it's not much. Ooh, and a sawed off though. Uh, unload. There we go. This one has the most. And then reload. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then drop that. Pick that up. How much is in this? There's nothing in that. Unfortunate. All right, let me check Discord real quick. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That just looks like murky water. <laughs> S7Y, how's it going? Welcome in. Oh, Sky, that makes sense. Well, welcome in. I posted the pics. Yeah, I, I saw it. It, it looks like a, it, it looks like murky water. <laughs> I'm sure it's delicious though. Come on, let me pick this dang thing up. It used to be pitch black. Did you just water it down that much? There needs to be a place to put radios on a bike. No, it just turned a bit green. Turned green from what? <laughs> Just time? That might not be safe to drink. <laughs> time, yeah. I'm gonna go to this diner also. Let me drink. Let me drink. Hopefully there's a car here. I've been trying to get rid of this damn bike for how many stops now? And I haven't found anything to replace it with. Please. Give me a vehicle. Oh, there's a van up there. And a bus. Oh, we're not stopping. Okay. Oh, is this bus fully intact too? There's oil in the fuel tank. I'm having a heart attack. Well, call whatever your version of 911 is. There's alcohol in the coolant. There's alcohol in the engine. And there's oil in the gas tank. Very helpful. Oil tank is empty. Coolant's empty. And there's diesel in the fuel tank. <laughs> Metal detector, shovel. Shovel. Can you dig? No. I don't want it then. A little bit of gas. Hang on. Did I see a boat around here also? Tastes like spicy sugar water, mostly sugar. 
Well, enjoy that, man. Just don't, just don't get yourself killed. Hmm. They're better around here. Yeah, that works too. I will make Vers sick drink it. Who's Versick? You're making someone else get killed? Oh, they do make these with back windows. That's so sick. Oh, and there's rows of seats in here? Dude. That's what the seats are for. Do they have a specific... They do have a specific... Wait a second. There's no wheel wells in this one? We found the superior version of the van. The asshole. Oh, wait, never mind. There are real wheel, wheel, wheel wells. <laughs> well, don't kill your cat. Just because he's an asshole doesn't mean he should die. Ooh. Draw. More Turkish pepper. Add more pepper. Um, all right. I think we're going to switch to this van, because it is kind of better. It does have the walls, although, what's the point of having a window back there? Oh, oh, oh okay, <laughs> never mind. Does this part come out too? No. Okay. How are we going to get it fueled up and ready to go is the question. There's already water in the coolant. That is a blessing, even though we have almost unlimited water here. I can't look into the motor. Ooh. <laughs> it's uh looks like it's having a little bit of an issue. Where do you put the oil in this motor? Is this a a mixed fuel motor? Y you all right there, Van? We gonna be good? Okay. I'll just put that back there. There. It's <laughs> freaking out because of these. Please. Please. Let go. I think I think this is how I would normally sit in my van. If I had one. Oh my teapot is stuck to my my uh Pot holder. Okay, let's figure out how to get this off.
That was easy enough. Okay, where's the door that was here? Was this the door? Did I jam the door in the floor by... Never mind, we're good. <laughs> okay. That is mixed fuel. So we have that. We got a radio. Um. We can just dump this into the fuel tank. Easy peasy. Easy freaking peasy, dude. Where is it? It's bubbling. Your your drink is bubbling. But are you creating a monster? Are you giving life to a new species? <laughs> let's uh let's take a nap. Yes. But what are you gonna name it? You know, if you create life, you have to you have to take care of it. Oh god, it's all from my bed. All right. In theory, that should be enough to get it started. I guess let's drive it off here. This looks like a big thing of dried meat. Why won't this go on here? Game. Can I put this one on now? Why? I will name it Suomalainen Vahinko. Finish mistake. <laughs> Can I put it on this side then? No, this tire is just not allowed to go on the car. Okay. That's fine. I didn't want it anyway. Alright, let's drive this off. Oh no. Are you, are you telling me this thing's stuck up here? Alright, we'll push it off. Oh, hold up. Oh no. <laughs> Send it. Ooh, come here. Let's actually bring this a little closer. useful in here. I still don't know how to use those. Apparently that's a thing you can do. It tastes like honey. Just like honey. Just like honey. I mean, honey's a good flavor, so seems like you, you did something good then. Honey sucks. I think that's a universally uh, incorrect opinion. 
I don't know many people that would say that honey is not a good flavor. Any other like giga rusty spots? Yeah. Time for the long drive. It's always time for the long drive. Welcome back, Maine. Um, any more brushes? No? I can add this to our newly acquired van motor. It's on this side, right? Yeah. I think we found a bunch of gas earlier, too, that we can add in. I don't know if you were around for much of the museum last, last time we streamed Maine, but it's all gone. We lost it in, in a tragic accident. I should get rid of the light and get my katana back so I can break boxes without using ammo. Yeah. Anything good in here? Water? Blue paint? A little bit of oil? Why is my... Okay. Oh, uh, let's at least grab this for the basket. I don't want to waste a good basket. This is the same motor that's in the van right now, right? Want a little drink? I think I'll I think I'll pass on on the abomination that you've made. Thanks for the offer though. I will grab this water actually. Has a good amount of water, and we do need water. Oh, you're offering it to Maine. Maine, I would recommend turning that offer down. <laughs> But if that's up to you. Would this be a better engine? I don't know how engines compare to each other in this game. But this engine needs oil itself. I see you found a van. We did. We did. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. Come on. The water's fine. Oh. Is this is this a good engine? Would this be better than the stock van engine? Who knows? Not I. No, I'm fine. That's a good that's a good good choice. We do need bed. Bed is very important.
pad in van. That's exactly where I was planning to put it. If I can climb into the back of here. Please? Why can't I fit? What is happening? <laughs> I'm in. There we go. What did I just pull off of that? Oh, it's the license plate. Big truck to do a full camper. I'm looking for the uh, the one that's just the van, but it has like a. Oh my god. It has the thing that you can load a car onto it. I still have yet to see one of those yet. Bed's poking out a little bit on the back, but should be fine. <laughs> that truck exactly. Oh, okay. Hoping I can find one at some point. Um, what is this? Or do I just shove the bus engine into the, the van? I don't know what led to the creation of my drink. Or van, whatever. <laughs> yeah. What led to the creation of your drink? Did you just find random things in your, uh, your cupboard? What if we put bus tires on the van? <laughs> Surely this won't tip over every two seconds from being too tall, right? Oh no, my fuel is tipping out. off-road van I put bus tires on a truck one time and that thing tipped over constantly but I was also I think I had a, a big truck motor in it like one of the big flatbed truck motors. They run on diesel. So it went really fast too. So that may have been why. Alright. Let's throw the regular tires in the back though. As a just in case. Because <laughs> I can see me getting about 5 feet down the road. And realizing that I hate the giant tires. I was very bored on my desk and then I had an idea. I took a water bottle and pepper and it looked cool. So I put another and another and et cetera. <laughs> so more pepper than water at this point? All right, I think we're good to go. I think there's boats out there. Maybe we go and hit the boats. Oh my God, this thing's so high now. me on some delicious classical music. What? Really? Oh, that's a lot of oil. How did I get so much oil in it? Hmm. Did I fuck myself right there? Like pea soup barely flowing like water. <laughs> I 
Did I put too much oil in there? And now we're not able to drive it? Are we stranded out here? Diesel. Hmm. Well, that's upsetting. Um, that's such a long walk. I don't think there was any oil in there. That's a bit closer, actually. All right, we're taking the long walk for right now. Don't come near me, rabbits. Gotta make an example of one of them so that they know not to come near. Hopefully there's gas in here. Otherwise we're gonna have some issues. I should have waited to put the fuel we had from the bike in the van. No rabbits coming. I think we can sleep out here and not get killed by a rabbit. try to sleep and hopefully no one murders us in our sleep perfect this boat doesn't seem like it's gotten any closer Yeah. I like that you can just run into cactuses. And they'll just fall apart. That's how cactuses are in real life, right? You can just walk into them and they'll collapse. issue now is also that all the things that we attach to our van are probably going to detach themselves as they do sometimes. I feel like I'm still not getting any closer to this freaking boat. Oh 
almost there in theory. Surprised that ratio of oil to gas didn't work. I feel like that's. It was like 60 something percent gas and 30 something percent oil. This should be fine, right? still not here. How are we still not here? It's going to be even worse having to bring a barrel back to which we can throw on the ground and kick and roll, but it doesn't always roll straight. It's gonna take a little bit extra effort just to do that too. But we'll get there. Did I leave my broom at that at the first van? I don't remember seeing it when I was packing up the bike. I think I must have. Oh, look at all these barrels. Surely there's going to be gas in at least one of them. Right? Right? They won't all be empty and or alcohol? I just check this one, yeah. No, we're only bringing back one barrel. Ooh, one percent oil. We can do a mixed one as long as it's a low percentage. We probably even want a lower percentage than we would normally want. Oh God. God, is that you? That's a good percentage. A little high. But we do also have this one. I 
We could also just fill one up with like gas and like fifteen percent oil maybe. And then just dump out everything that's in the van already. Ooh. And maybe go from there and just pour that. Oh, this is going to be miserable walking back to the van. <laughs> what do we got? 95 and 5% oil. How much is in here? Let's see what we can do. What's the ratio now? 12% oil? Yeah, we'll just fill this up and this should actually be fine. As long as we can tip it and get it out of here. This is going to be such a pain in the ass. No. I think that's the diner. Or is that the diner? I think that's a rock and that's the diner. I wish that was the diner. But I think that's the diner. Nope. Alright. As long as it stays like this and these rabbits don't try to come kill me. We'll, we'll be back in no time. This is the ideal long drive situation. Everybody wants to do this when they're playing the long drive. this damn barrel would stay straight. Please. Please. I'm begging you, barrel. I guess if I walk, it might just be faster to walk because I can keep it under control. <laughs> I'm just going to hold W for a little bit. was the long walk from was that it was some comic book 
Or when they finished being the thing, I got sent out into the desert. Oh, I bumped my microphone. Was it? can't think of what it was. Oh, it was Judge Dredd. Yeah. I used to have a ton of those. The comics and whatnot. I am the law. I want to turn around and look to see how, how far away we are from the boat, but if I turn around, I'm going to lose the angle that I'm going. I don't have to realign it. Do a little burst of running. Maybe. Keeps wanting to go to the side. Please. Please. I'm begging you. Go the way I need you to go. <laughs> Please. I'm going to do a run where I take out every cactus in the entire world. Oh no, we're hungry. Am I not thirsty? The real question. I'm only hungry. I don't believe that. Oh no. Oh no. Any other ones? Or can I go to sleep? May I sleep, sir? Permission to sleep? problem is I think we already also ate all the food at the diner. So I don't know what we're going to do when we get there in terms of not starving to death. I'd hate to <laughs> hate to get there, fill up the van, start driving, and then just die of starvation. That would not be ideal. 
It's weird that the diner doesn't have like a thing just full of food. Like a freezer or something. A couple fridges maybe. Load them up. Oh, do cactuses regenerate? They must. I like having an empty revolver. It's like a fidget spinner. Click it endlessly. Everything is okay. Please? No, stop. Weird noises going on in my apartment? That's fine. I like that. I'm a fan. No, stop. We're so close. Please. Please. Go this way. We're so close. Where'd it go? I thought it just disappeared on me. so close. Please stop spinning the other way. Please. Although, where's the bus? Is the bus just not spawned in yet? Bus me? gonna shoot it. I'm not gonna risk getting killed right there.
pretty sure it didn't auto save too long ago, but I'd rather not lose any progress on this walking back. Why is my bus or my van suspended slightly? Okay. All the wheels fell out too. Hopefully this should bring down the percentage enough that it's drivable. I would hope so. The stuff in this barrel is only like 14% oil, I think. And if not, we'll just pour it all out and just fill it with what's in the barrel. If it comes down to it. I think that should be good. Should be a, a low enough ratio at this point. I don't like that this isn't the slidey door like the other one, though. I think I prefer the slidey door. Just because it's less in the way. Although now we can put... things on the side on both sides but now there's windows on both sides now we're in a pickle okay let's see how she does fingers crossed it starts let's go oh she's slow all right hang on we gotta check for food before we head out See if there's any food at all that we can munch on. Sometimes there's food in here. It's a croissant. What is this? Rear view. Okay. Oh, we got a little bit of food. Thing's so slow. <laughs> Alright, we definitely need to potentially upgrade the motor at some point. This thing's super slow. Eh. It's picking up. It just takes a long time to get up to speed, I guess. Which it's a van, so I guess that makes sense. Oh god. That turns a little rough. Potentially because of the giant wheels. the window slide forgot about that no rabbit please
We just got the car moving. <laughs> okay, all the tires are still there. Just lost the bumper back here. And a door and a barrel. <laughs> Let's just drive to this. Should we try to build a house on top of the van? Out of the pallets. Oh, where's my engine cover? Oh, there it is. Do they make these doors with windows on them too? That would be cool. Okay. Stop moving. <laughs> Stop. Just let me in. I like having windows. Much better than the closed off back like the other one. Filling my mug while I drive. Gas station? Gas station. I don't know how much I really like the big tires. I don't know if they affect speed much, but they definitely affect handling. And at the end of the day, I would almost prefer to be able to handle better than go faster. <laughs> Call me crazy. Nothing here at all. Bummer. We don't have to sleep through the night, by the way, though. We can just drive. I feel like they spent so much time on the day-night system and making the sky look really nice. <laughs> and everything else was just a second thought.
Because look at that. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh, we didn't see any food there, did we? I don't think there was. But who knows? Not I. Yeah, I think the big tires like to drift a little bit when you turn them. Compared to having regular sized tires on it. If I can find a set of white walls, I would probably swap to those. Cruising pretty good now. Once the van gets going, it goes. Although we might also be going down a hill, which would help a little bit. I think we are. I would like to try a bigger motor in this thing at some point. We did have the um, the Pontiac motor in it at one point, or in the other one, which was nice. At least just to have good acceleration. And topping out would be nice too. Going about 150 now. These turns are starting to get a little scarier at this speed now <laughs> especially with these big tires but I think we're good I don't really need to turn the wheel other than to dodge rocks Ooh. It is kind of a pain to get out of sometimes. Oh, it's so dark. Where's the door? Hopefully there's no dude in here trying to kill me. Nope. It's all the food. Okay. That's fine. we got in here come on oil whole bunch of things is that a basket it is a basket don't want this though my light and now I can't see anything
I'd grab these pallets, but I can only imagine how much of a pain of pain in the ass it'll be to get the ones that are buried under everything out. So we'll grab the ones we can grab. Do pallets not auto lock onto each other? God damn it. Please. There needs to be a middle speed for walking. I just attach myself. There we go. Okay. I think we got everything we need out of here. Need being hypothetical since we don't really need half the stuff we grabbed. I want to try to start building a structure on top of the van. Like a home. A hobble. A hobble. We also need to get some more brushes. We should paint it all yellow. And then it'll be the van from that one movie. The one with the family that like lives in a van or something like that. I think Steve Carello was in it. And like the, the daughter does like dance competitions maybe? Or beauty pageants? I can't remember. Yeah, it keeps, even if you touch it a little bit, it just kind of stays turning. With the big tires? Maybe it does it with the small ones too, and I just didn't notice it because they're small. But it's kind of annoying. Because it's hard to get it to just go straight. I say as I get it to just go straight.
Can we fit under here with this van? Ooh, yep. Turn that bad boy off. Hopefully there's a good amount of food in here. For once. Ooh, sausage. More sausage. We'll leave the bacon. I should have ate the bacon first instead and left or brought the sausage. Hang that up in the back here and or in the front here. Pick it up. Pick it up. There we go. Gas. I don't think it'll even take that much since we just topped it off at the last stop. But the more gas we put in... The lower that ratio will get. I think that's everything we want out of here. Nothing on the roof. Nothing on the roof. Metal detector doesn't do anything anyway. Other than make noises. So we'll put this... on the side here. And then we'll have a light shining out that way while we're driving at night. And I'll continue to contemplate whether I want big tires on here or not. Should be a horn, too. Oh, there's a horn. I'm a fool. There should be vanity horns, is what I meant to say. Is that on the road? Guess we'll find out. Maybe we stop there just to see what cars spawned. Maybe we get a better motor. See how close it is to the road, though. It doesn't look like it's going to be at all. But maybe we just avoid it. Road's turning away from it. <clears throat> Although we could go and get some pallets too and build our structure. I think we wait. I think we'll let it just. We'll let it cook for now.
Why are the peg the panels on the side of the the van segmented? So they, why can't I talk? Segmented. Feels like they should come off, and you can add different panels. One of the garages, I think so. Oh, it's not one of the garages. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. A fully intact beetle? Look how purdy she is. That's a full set of white wells, too. I might swap those.
Yeah, that looks better. Um, let's put, let's top off our gas in the car with this. It's actually the perfect amount to top it off. Land it. And then we'll put this one in our barrel. Barrel. That it? Oh, there must not have been much in there. <laughs> okay. And then we'll put this on the van. Is the Beetle engine better than the van engine? I can't imagine it is, right? <laughs> it's just a little dude, right? Just a little baby engine. Let's give our headlights some... Oh. Some little eyelashes. No, we'll get off. Really? That's annoying. Please. It wants to, I can see it. It's lifting up. Please. Bleed, bro. Thank you. Come on. Come on. The other one came up. You can too, I believe. I believe in you. Come on. Part of it wants to come out. Oh, come on. Please, get out. This way, maybe? It's getting so damn close. Come on. Come on, you're almost there. Please. We did it. The, the van even did a jump for joy. Okay, don't put that on there. We're gonna build a home on top of the van. Oh god. If we bring this in a little bit, or a lot of it. <laughs> it's a little, little angled. That's okay. Oh, uh, we need to put it like this. I should have done it the other way. I'm realizing now I'm a fool.
Wrong button. Let's just sleep. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to actually do this. <laughs> Hang on. I think I saw a light in here. I want to see something. If you lay... I think that's that's perfect. I feel like it looks like the hairdo of like a Nickelodeon cartoon character, but I can't figure out who. If it was more spread out and they were all at different angles, I would say Angelica's doll from the Rugrats. 
Maybe Gerald from Hey Arnold. Yeah, yeah, I can see that, yeah. <clears throat> Did having big tires actually bring the speed up that much? Stoop kid's gonna leave his stoop. Such a good show. Arnold's bedroom is just the coolest bedroom ever. We were going like 150 with the big tires. Well, I think that was going down hills, but we were still going like top 120. Got to find a bigger motor for this thing. Put a bus motor in her. We should do a, they do have buses you could drive as well, you know? What? No way. Jim, no, we've driven buses before, though. You see the L for that, though? Damn it. All right, guys, I got to stop streaming for a while. I got to um, go get my CDL so I can drive buses. Ooh. I think I have Euro Truck Simulator. I was trying to think of other games where you can just, like, sit and drive. I'm pretty sure I have Euro Truck Simulator. We could just do Euro Truck Simulator streams. I was thinking also that I have um No Man's Sky. Just see how long it takes to get to the center of the universe. I've never actually like put more than like 10 hours into that game before I would like just stop and then start again some other time. Could be fun, yeah. Really, Rabbit? <laughs> I forgot if you hold C, it just plants a camera. It's a good mechanic. I think um, No Man's Sky has multiplayer now too, right? <laughs> we could just do long drive No Man's Sky multiplayer. See how long it takes to get to the center of the universe. <laughs> Warframe's pretty fun too, but def not for everyone. Never tried No Man's Sky multiplayer maybe? Use that feature a lot in very creative and effective ways. The uh, planning the camera. I can't get out of my van like this though. Maybe if I look this way? No. I feel like Warframe is also a game I probably would enjoy. But it's also another, like, looter shooter that I'm... I don't know if I have the capacity to get into right now. The fun thing about Warframe is it'll even run on Switch, so even Red Warrior can join. That's a good take. We could try it. Let's put this in the rest of the barrel. I think Red Warrior said he has Norda now, too, though. So, in theory, he can join us for Noida together at some point. What is this? Oh, it's just a rock.
got to keep an eye on that ratio. I had it too high earlier, and I had to walk through the desert to a, a boat to fill it up more. And then more like the separate screen you have, you can have and plant somewhere. I've seen a guy do a whole stream with the viewers sitting in the back. I've done that before. Uh, sometimes I'll put the, the camera just in like the passenger seat. And just do like one of these. Have you guys looking at sausages the whole time? Oh good, a level. We can use this to <laughs> make sure the structure on top of our van is up to code. Would hate to have the the inspector come by and tell us that we gotta tear it down. Okay. I think we're good. How's my hunger? I could eat a little bit. Excuse me for one second. I'm just going to grab some sausage while you're sitting here, if you don't mind. Oh, you can't leave a camera while you're sitting outside of the vehicle. That was weird. <laughs> Farewell. Farewell. Off we go. The only problem with this is with the other view, or with the other camera thing, I can set the camera, zoom in on that, and then go back to my regular view. Whereas this, I, I'm kind of stuck to this. Goodbye. Hopefully we don't crash. <laughs> so now you're now you're a little child. But you don't have sausages hitting you in the head. Oh, I'm out of tea again. Too bad there's no cruise control, right? That'd be cool. that or make it so I can like put a seat on the roof of the car and be uh, Mr. Bean. Just control the steering wheel from the top of the car. Almost time for bed, young one. Oh, I can't lean my head far enough over, unfortunately. There's a mod for cruise control that doesn't work. There's also a mod for a brick you can stick on the gas pedal 
which also doesn't work. <laughs> really add a remote control to install on vehicles, that'd be cool. I just want to be Mr. Bean. Are the mods broken because of the new updates or are they just they just never worked? Oh no. Never got them to work even more before the update. Ah. Those broken mods. Telegraph pull simulator. <laughs> uh, no, it's actually uh, you're my young child sitting in the passenger seat simulator. <laughs> you can set the cruise, but it doesn't do anything. And in the brick one, you can set the brick, but that also doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, hi. Hi, Dad. Hello, son. I'll get you to school. Driving from a flying bridge would be fun, but if you crash, you would should die instantly. Are we there yet? We're not going to be there for a long time. Driving from a f flying bridge? Like, are you saying build a bridge on top of the car? How about now? We there hit? Not quite. Not quite. Just uh, take a nap. We'll we'll be there soon. Maybe when you wake up. Maybe. Let's play I Spy. All right. I see. I spy uh something dark. My little eye, something that begins with T. The part on those yachts where you can drive them from all the way up top. Oh, that's neat. Something that begins with T. Uh, I don't know. I got nothing. Telephone pole. <laughs> telegraph. Oh, telegraph poles. This guy talking about telegraphs. Oh no! Oh, god damn it! Oh Lord, he coming. Why is it why is it it not passing me? <laughs> Please? I'm not going that fast, am I? <laughs> Come on, go around. Go around. They slow down sometimes. <laughs> Go around. Can you just pick me up then? Bye.
<laughs> when are they going to let you shoot them down? Gives you a chance to... Oh, does it actually? I didn't know that. I thought they were just a thing that kind of just drives by every once in a while. And makes your car turn off. Which is always fun when you're careening down a hill going top speed and all the lights turn off. They have controls. Interesting. I think we gotta find a way to get a UFO now. Never caught one. If you fly to catch it, they speed up. Well then, I guess we'll just have to build our structure on top and wait for a, wait for a uh, UFO to drive by. And jump out and climb on top. Pop on pop. You have to wait and get the jump on them. Well, we got 5,000 kilometers. I'm sure we'll we'll get the jump on them eventually. <laughs> Just gonna use my my revolver as a fidget spinner for now. to you while I'm driving. Can you, one of you grab the wheel real quick and keep us on the road? Thanks. Appreciate it. At a bus stop? That's unfortunate. Wait, maybe it's not. You think the engine's full? Think there's any diesel? Where's the fuel on these things? Fuel tank is empty. Feel bad. No! I love that truck. Be nice to... I guess we could bring the engine with us. Come here, you. Come here, you. It's got oil in it. This is now our engine. What's in here? There's nothing. All right. We're just engine pirates now. With a cool hairdo on our van. <laughs> Man, I've said it before, but this song always reminds me of the, the start screen for Final Fantasy X. Should we, should we play through Final Fantasy X? <laughs> I think I've played through it so many times and gotten, like, to the end and just stopped. I've gotten so close to beating it many times and just never did. Any Final Fantasies in chat? Fantasy O finales. Whoop whoop 
fantasizing about their finales. I mean, who doesn't want to listen to Titus's laugh? Who doesn't want to just spend however long that game is hating Titus the whole time? Because he's the most insufferable human being. It's the last one now. It's true. True. I'm glad they finally fantasied about something. nine more than ten just because of Squall. I think I played nine with a friend, maybe? At one point? That, that, is that the one that had multi, like a co-op mode? One of them did, and I played it with a friend. I think it was nine. I feel like it was good. Also, Blitzball. I just remembered ten has Blitzball, and I, I already don't want to play that. <laughs> That's probably Crystal Chronicles, good game, also free on the phone. No, it was like a mainline Final Fantasy game that had, like, co-op in it. It was pretty cool. Like, you each just played a different character. A different person in the party. I feel like there's so much room on this dashboard for more things. And yet there's nothing on it. That was an efficient swing. That's it. I want... I hate the opening door, side door. I want the sliding door again. Probably should close that before we roll the van and dump out all that. Lose all of our excess gas. Gosh. Oh my god, I forgot that I had also grabbed this bad boy. Sure, that's fine. What was the, the movie where it was a yellow van and it had Steve Carell in it and they drove around like the youngest daughter did dance recitals or like beauty pageants or something. We got to recreate that van.
I don't remember anyone else that was in that movie though. Little Miss Sunshine. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I mean we're already we we've already got a yellow van apparently. We just gotta recreate that van. And then we'll we'll do the whole movie in the long drive. Does anyone have the script on them? Who up who up having the little Miss Sunshine script on them? Next time we stop. That motor is going to pop like out of the floor so much whenever we get that in, and that is never coming out. That thing is going to be stuck in here. <laughs> the light okay that's the light we'll try to use the the in-game button over hitting L why can't I click on this to do the horn stop at the next place wherever that was usually there's some pallets in there usually they're buried under a million things so odds are we won't actually be able to obtain them where where did it go I didn't pass by that garage oh it's all it's off in the middle of the desert all right never mind forget I said anything See if we can. I think I've tried to actually sit one of the zombies in the passenger seat. I don't think it would. I don't think it worked. So I don't think I could even get it through the doorway. Contorted enough. Glad that didn't hit our pallets on top somehow. I feel like that should have, but maybe not. <laughs> our OSHA approved pallets.
You just the kid shoved into the back with all the equipment and stuff. There's an empty seat up here next to me, but I was like, no, you you sit in the back. <laughs> what if the car shakes and the bed crushes me or the engine falls over on top of me? I don't care. I don't care. As long as CPS doesn't know, we're fine. You don't need a seatbelt. Such a long arm. Oh my god, what the heck? I think we're fine. Other than the blood on the dashboard and a couple things that fell off. But who doesn't love driving around with a little blood on the dashboard? Want some cactus? Okay. That's um let's not crash it this time. We got red red Kool-Aid on the dashboard again. I need more brushes. And a barrel of diesel. Diesel. It keeps offering me beetles too. And it's tempting. on the roof? No? Where is he? <laughs> oh, he is in there.
bugs. <laughs> There's just never ever any animal. A little bit. There's never any a ammo anymore. Can use this though. Someone got blood on the dashboard. Who up bleeding on the dashboard? I tried a motorcycle earlier, and that's why I don't have anything. Because <laughs> I had to ditch everything in the van for it. All right, I am going to go to the bathroom real quick. Because I have drank a whole pot of tea. So I will be right back. the motorcycle if you mount a pallet on the frame and get a VW air cooled engine it's great are you um
What's missing is a trailer. I mean, the van doesn't even have a place to put a trailer also, which is odd. This already has oil in it too. Where do you mount a pallet on it? See, my issue with it earlier was it's so damn heavy that it's like impossible to pick up half the time without spending an hour trying to pick it up. Pull the front wheel off? What? Why does that work? <laughs> I don't have any just gas though. Oh, right, this isn't the slidey one. That's probably a doable amount, though. I don't think I'm actually going to swap to this. It writes itself. But well, let's, let's try it out. Let's see how it does. Probably enough. When do I get to do wheelies? When you say mount a pallet to it, do you just mean this? <laughs> Please? No, it need to glitch under the seat. God damn it. <laughs> How do you glitch it under the seat? <laughs> like this? Nope. <laughs> Can I sit on it still? <laughs> This seems fine. Just sit while holding the pallet. Mm. <laughs> Is 
Take that cactus. There's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> oh, I got a butt shield. And it, and it turns on a dime. <laughs> almost? Almost almost for what part? Stand up. Stop tipping over, damn it. <laughs> oh, it's because the stand's not done. Where should I be aiming when I put the pallet on it? Honestly, that seems like it's probably fine. Seems like it would achieve the the task of having a flat platform to build on or place things on. Managed to mount it just under the seat somehow, maybe pull the tank off first. Maybe these are getting in the way. Doesn't seem bad. I don't know if I can get everything else back onto the bike. So close. I don't think I can get the... Oh, wait. <laughs> Damn it. Come on. Do I have the kickstand on? I do. It just doesn't want to stay. There we go. It should be fine. <laughs> you just put one barrel on both sides and it'll balance out, right?
Oh, I'm sitting on the back of the seat. Ah. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually going to do this, though. It's a fun idea, but maybe some other time. <laughs> Come on. We can probably get the gas tank now, maybe? Yeah. Which one is this? What? Why is my car... Why is my van puking everything out? <laughs> is it mad at me because it thought I was replacing it? Don't worry, van. I'm not replacing you. Need a pallet in the back? It wasn't doing that before, though. Oh, was it because the back door was open? Okay. That's weird. Almost missed the stream. We're here, man. We're here. Welcome in. What's the bit? Uh, there's not really one right now. We're kind of attempting to build a structure on top of the van, but I don't know if we're going to go through with that. We're kind of checking out how viable... A bike is like a treehouse, kinda. I don't know if I can do this from down here. Not bad. All right. I think we continue onward. Minecraft in long drive. Yo, Minecraft bat chest. I better get one of those hanging Minecraft guys. Whole time I've been lurking and building a structure on the van. It's now a three-story van. All right, Turkey, you don't have to. You don't have to flex on me. <laughs> have you just been using pallets? Wrong way. So true. <laughs> that was not paying attention. Metal bars and parts of other vans. Wait, what'd you use the other van parts for? Doors are now walls. Did you just attach them to the pallets and then connect the pallets together? Or place the pallets down? Ooh, you could use, um... 
use mirrors to make the doors actually work as doors. In a convoluted way. The pallets will fizz lock anything you put on them, so I just had to hold them there till they became part of the van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we were doing last night. I think you left before uh, most of it started. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let me. Ah. We had a whole. Uh, traveling museum of zombies and different different things they've done to c cause this apocalypse to happen. But we had like a whole trail of pallets off the back of the van. <laughs> Is that a diner? Who up dining? I feel like you get so hungry so quickly in this game. Like, who eats this much? Cat's about to jump in front of my monitor. I hate this much. Then I had a spectacular tumble and walked too far away and everyone disappeared, yeah. That's how it goes sometimes. Way of the road. Dancing. This is fun. Run, little squirrel. Run. What's he doing? <laughs> All right. <laughs> they can open doors. Yeah, I know. Run, little squirrel. Run. You're just gonna close the window? Oh wait, you opened the other window. You can open both windows. <laughs> He's he's coming? Come on, man. Do that do that in the bathroom. Do that somewhere where like I I don't want to see it. Do that on your personal time. Sir, your breath. Oh. Why is his hand a different color than his arm? It's funny when they try to get in the bus. What do they try to do to get in the bus? Does he wear gloves all the time but short sleeve shirts? So his hand doesn't get a tan but his arm does? Alright, let's, let's take a nap real quick. I wish they had more health. Yeah. Work gloves.
They opened the motor bay door. That's funny. I had that tan. Um, we need more yellow paint so we can make the uh, the Little Miss Sunshine van. Actually, we'll take this too. So we have a backup white wall wheel. Hello. That's probably enough diesel to uh, get us going where we want to go with the, the other motor. I'm running with a bus now. I have 13 wives, all with AK-47s and Cantanas. It's hilarious. Nice. Did they do anything with this yet to make it cool? Or is it still just a... A uh, genie bottle. Did you celebrate 420, my dude? Dude, I don't. I don't smoke. <laughs> I did drink last night, but I don't smoke. Rub the genie bottle. I've I've done it before. It just never does anything. So unless they change something with the recent updates. Yeah, it always does this, but nothing comes out. It's just a weight like gold or barbells. Ah. Well, I want to make a wish, and I want to set the genie free. Come out, genie. Come out, genie. All their lights. <laughs> Another pallet, though. Is a book? I hate books. Rick reading. Nobody should be able to get knowledge. Please lock. There we go. I think we've explored everything that we can here. We've obtained a couple pallets. It would probably be easier to actually build a structure out of pallets in the back of here. Since we can just run them up against the wall.
But then we'd just be building a van <laughs> instead of a van with a structure on top of it. All oh, right. How the heck? I guess that's how the heck. <laughs> per work lights on the front of my vehicles and baskets above the headlights in case they fall out. Yeah. I've been told to do that before. But I'm just a big old dingus. Oh, I don't have any oil. There's no oil here. Oil me? Lube me up? No? There's no oil. Not even a little bit. Nice. Well, that's unfortunate that there's no oil. So we gotta stick with the engine we've got for now. This is a mess out here. <laughs> Can I pick this up and push that? No. But we gotta be quick. Gamer skills activate. Did I get it? Nope. Gamer mode activate. Take form of engine. Look at that. What a freaking pro gamer this guy is. Oh, I'll probably need bigger tires if I put that in now that I think about it. <laughs> we're going to have another situation where we're, when we were starting Car Zodia and have put one of these motors in a car and couldn't drive for however far because every two feet the car would just crash into the f freaking ground. All right, let's, let's get this rust out of here. Get that nice yellow paint shining. Shining through. Why is this one a different yellow? Who the frick painted this van? Just pile in all this garbage. Uh. <laughs> I always forget that I can just do that and bring it in closer instead of trying to do that from a mile away. Truck tires will probably make that thing flip over, flip her just super floaty like a boat. Yeah, I had bus tires on it earlier and it was uh, not ideal, I would say. I don't, 
Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Got to bring the necessities. All right, let's. Van looking super expens expressive now. What do you mean by expressive? The fuck does that mean? <laughs> Should probably take more time and make sure that they're flat. That involves lining things up perfectly. Gonna need some crazy wood glue. <laughs> I mean, we had it yesterday, didn't we? This one's placed so perfectly, too. <laughs> Alright. How do we... We need a basket. I have one that's not really doing much. Sir, you're in my way. I'm trying to work here. Fort Van. All right, now this needs to go. Ooh. That's right there. Some turrets and a million more zombies. Oh, what if we? What if we could trap live zombies up in this? <laughs> That's the actual dream right there. All right, hang on. No, not what I wanted to do. I don't think we'll need a basket if we can just do this. Ooh. All right, let's get this one replaced. As long as they don't like jump out of the top, which I mean, I guess we could build a top to it, but I would also need a way to escape after I like lure them in. Oh God. Oh wait, this isn't going to work. Because I need to be able to grab that and attach that. Oh, God damn it. Triple Decker monstrosity is complete and it's gorgeous. All right, Turkey. We get it. You're you're better at building structures than me. Did that attach? No. I don't think that attached. <laughs> Take both pieces down. I want to be stubborn though. <laughs> Let me be stubborn. Line up on floor. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that didn't give me much light. Okay. <laughs> oh no god damn it okay we we know it's doable at least though and then once they're attached to the roof it should be easier to adjust it and open it oh shit shit Although I don't know which way to attach it to this, I guess, to make it so that it's openable. Because that only turns certain ways. Was looking good? It was, until I accidentally hit the wrong button. Also, we might want to have this one. Why would you want an ASMR Zomboy caged on your roof? Why wouldn't you? Attach. All right, that's a little crooked, but might be fine. Let me up. Oh God, this is miserable. All right, I'm gonna have to do it from here. Oh god. Can I do it from down here? Okay, it's E to adjust. <laughs> you open it up, you lure them in, you jump out, and then you quickly, quick, quick, you, you, you quick, 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 you, you do this quickly, and you close them. <laughs> Just like that, easy peasy. <laughs> Alright, we have to find our first victim now. You guys see how quickly and easily that was done? <laughs> you could drop so much food into that, true, true. But we could also bring a bunch of zombies into it. Be a traveling grocery store. <laughs> Alright, we must find our first victim now. <laughs> and hopefully they don't jump out the top. Not sure the zomboy pathfinding is up to your tricks. You're probably right. 
But I'm, I mean, they've jumped on top of my van earlier by themselves. So if I bait them up, maybe wrong way again. Oh my god. <laughs> Definitely not going to find a zombie that way. We might be able to trap one. I would imagine driving with a zombie that's not, like, <laughs> locked in up top will just cause an obscene amount of issues. Made some weird European dump truck. How do you know what a European dump truck looks like? But I mean, I'm willing to try it out and see see what kind of issues we we have. I'm gonna drink some water real quick because I am out of tea. <laughs> you could hoard everything from every site if you got it big enough. Yeah, that that probably would just not cause the slowdown or physics issues at all. Shit, last night when we had a trail of freaking pallets and zombies on it, every time we went somewhere and broke a box, my game dropped down to like 20 frames per second. I can only imagine what having this thing filled full of just garbage would do. A plus content? I don't know about that. I'd put a seat in there and hope he sits down. Ooh, good idea. If we find a seat, we'll try it. I went back and watched the VOD. Nice. How was it? I gotta watch out for the the poles leaning in. My cat's staring me down right now. What's up, dude? I was like, oh, no. You just chilling? The first massive wipeout killed the run. Yeah, a little bit. We had a couple of, like small, smaller crashes, but I don't. That one crash just just took us too far. But that that's the way she goes. I mean, I I feel like we were almost at like capacity at that point anyway there wasn't a whole lot more we could have added on before the game just dropped down to like 20 fps the whole time so it was almost like it was time to go anyway it was a fun build though some of those some of those poses we got out of the zombies were great. Oh, we should have put the zombie body that we killed up in the trap. And then we could have seen what it would be like to have a loose physics object up there. Just to see how bad it would affect our driving. Notice some in interesting physics with the pallets and the crash could maybe stay airborne forever. Really? What, what were they doing? Load it with cactus? We could. And we'd have an infinite water source. Acted like an arm and pushed you up. While we were airborne? That's interesting. We'll have to go back and look at that.
who up Doppler affecting. Could make some blade bay, bay blade wheel. Are you saying put stuff on a tire and make bay blades out of them? It's a bus stop. Of course, the the first stop we get is a bus stop. Come on, game. We have we have plans. We have things we're trying to do. It's always so disorienting when you accidentally jump out the window. Oh, an engine that doesn't need fuel? What do you mean? No, no fuel. Water. The great whale of cars. Alcohol! Please. Thank you. Okay. I was hoping for some oil, but the bus engine can run without fuel. The starter can power small vehicles. Wait, what? How does the bus engine run without fuel? <laughs> Just hold down I. Oh, the ignition just work. Well, I don't have any oil also. I don't have any oil for it. Would that, would that affect it? <laughs> if we put this engine in the bus or the van, this thing's never coming out though. I mean, I would, would have assumed the uh, other engine probably wouldn't either. But this thing's just never coming out if we throw that in there. Basically a hybrid, just save surf, save first, true. True. God damn it. God damn it. There's too many doors on this thing. Why can't I push the... Okay. Get this close. Oh, I didn't save. Hang on. Save. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> it's too heavy to just quickly grab it and throw it in. Please. Bed sticking out the bottom. Oh, it's too far away. 
<laughs> Jesus. It's not working. Not working. Uh, you might need oil. Yeah. That's all right. Ah, had to sneeze for a second there. No, this is too far away. We have diesel, we just don't have oil. I have... Excuse me? I have gas and oil because the this car needs mixed. The engine for this one needs mixed. But I don't have just regular pure gas or pure oil. use it in the golf and it flies at 180 kilometers per hour that's interesting very interesting very interesting oh where'd my where'd my side mirror go I feel oh you just scared me. I thought you were saying like I I have no fuel. I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Where'd all my fuel go? They just had some. We were driving. I swear. try the truck engine to see if it does the same I mean I got one on me when we find oil I'll I'll we can try it out before we swap over to just diesel we ever find oil that is just fall asleep while we're driving surely that turn won't come up too quickly never mind there it is perfectly timed <laughs> like a pro streaming opportunities I'll catch you in a bit have a good one Red Warrior hope you have a good stream big waste of fuel running it all night oh that's true eh, I'm not too worried about it we have a a whole bunch of fuel we can always get more <laughs> Ooh. there's a big big boat over there It should just spawn zombies randomly throughout the wasteland also. I 
I want to capture all of them. I don't know how we will capture more than one zombie without getting just attacked the whole time we're trying to get other ones in. If we can even capture one, that is. We'll just have layers, and each layer will have its own zombie in it. Would we... I wonder if we would be able to capture a zombie in, in the back of the van. Because in theory, he wouldn't be able to get to you because of that wall. We gotta eat and drink some too. Surely there will be a stop with a zombie in it and a chair somewhere. Do we drive out there and hope there's a zombie in it? Like the rabbits that spawn directly in front of you while going 150 kilometers? Yeah. Yeah, where's the zombies that just walk into the middle of the road and then stand in front of your car? So that you hit them and everything flies off of your car. Actually, we're not going to be too far from this boat. I think we do stop at the boat. Going to the boat. Gonna get the boat. Oh, I do have a little bit of tea left. Delicious. We boating. Like, why are there no zombies in the boat? Surely there were people driving the boat when it got beached, right? Would it even be called beached if it's on regular land? Have you blown up an oil tanker yet? Like the big trucks with the tank in the back of them? Those blow up? Wait, these blow up? No, I have not. How do you blow up the boat? Just the drums? Oh. Jesus, there's a lot of a lot of barrels in here. It's like a nuke. Oh, good. Do you just shoot one of the drums? Okay, apparently it's just full of oil. Preferably an oil drum, they seem to explode the best. Interesting. Oh my god, there's... <laughs> I mean, this primarily oil drums. Uh, we could probably bring this along in case we want to swap engines to a gas engine at some point. Just about to say, I'd love to find some diesel at some point, too. About 300 meters away. Is 
Does the barrel need to be full? Or does it just need to have oil in it? Fifty liters, that's the trick. Can we slide this one with this one? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> what are you? Oil. Oh shit. Now we're just gonna fill up some barrels now. You may be thinking to yourself, who is Philip Barrels? I don't have a I don't have an answer. I do not know. Does it fill faster if you just pour it in? This is 22 and this is 25, so we'll go this way. No? Okay. Oh, it didn't work that time. Come on. Come on, get some momentum. Harry, <laughs> you gotta move, dude. <laughs> I can't just... Climbed onto my desk and stood in front of me and just stared at my face. Like, what are you doing? What's going on over here? What do we got here? Oh yeah, we were just gonna take a barrel of gas just to, just as a just in case me, if we want, ever wanna swap over to a gas engine again. All right, this'll be our, our explosion barrel. Actually, we could probably leave it in the boat, I would imagine. And just shoot it. Gas over diesel, at least in your opinion. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't even know how cars work. Do they work? Do vehicles do anything, ever?
Let's pull everything out real quick. What is this? This is diesel. Let's add this to the other one and get rid of it. Double it and give it to the next person. I got too much shit on my desk. <laughs> okay. Nope. Give me this tire. Let's make it daytime again. So we can work in the daytime. I would imagine at least with this engine diesel will probably be better because the engine that comes with the van seems like it's not very good but if it's like the the Pontiac whatever engine it is I would imagine that would be better than the diesel engine Cause that thing's a a beast. As we've had in we've had oil in this the whole time. <laughs> what were we waiting for? <laughs> that engine is great. It is great. It sips fuel. Are you talking about this one or the Pontiac one? We've had oil in this the whole time. How did we not know? This one. It's also potentially going to uh, be too tall. But we will find out. <laughs> Plymouth is a gas color. Yeah, that's what I meant. Not Pontiac, Plymouth. Why can't I push? There we go. Yeah, but it's so fast and fun to drive. Who doesn't enjoy careening off the side of every cliff they drive down? I know I do. <laughs> you gotta drive it for content so that everyone goes hee hee ha ha every time you crash. so that you can lose, pull the wheels off. That's probably a good idea. Whoa. Nope. Come on. Where is... There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> Do it. The... <laughs> We're not even gonna be able to move. Look. It'll be almost okay with the wheels. Are you sure about that? I don't know. No, that's 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 on the ground. That's that's sitting on the ground. I don't even... Try it. <laughs> Oop. I don't know if it's not moving because we didn't put diesel in it or because it's touching. But I don't even think the front wheels are touching. Are they? It needs gas. 
I'm afraid to put gas in it though. That's insane how <laughs> Why is it so big? Alright, we'll put a little bit of diesel in there. Diesel. Just a smidge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're off, boys. Oh, I need to eat. Well, uh, there's bigger tires. We can save it for later. Yeah, the, we we can grab bus tires again. The only issue with that is it becomes very, uh, very tippy because it doesn't have a wide wheelbase. <laughs> Feels very floaty when you're driving it with bus tires. I see it bottom me out. Really? You don't think that'll lift it up enough? I mean, we'll try it. We'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. We're now under the van. Now we gotta get the the diesel out of here. Oh no, I grabbed the bed. <laughs> I foresee it tumbling off. Oh, uh, true, true. <laughs> I wish Red Warrior has a ton of clips from when we were doing Carzodia and when we were first starting and I put this engine in a car and did like a quick test drive with it but I apparently drove too far away and everything disappeared and uh, just driving that thing was hell because every like two seconds it would bottom out and just launch me and kill me. <laughs> All right, we got to get that other motor back in here. Close this. Bring this over here. Let me out. <laughs> oh, no. I am becoming the car. <laughs> Wait, we can we can fix this. Ta da So small. The bus motor is perfect, it fits in anything and it's low pro yeah, I was thinking that too. Oh so strong, I know. I work out. Welcome in, Michael. Oh we can't pick that up. Oh wait, we still gotta fill up with this. I don't think I'm gonna fill it all the way. Just cause we're planning on ditching this anyway at some point. Or not ditching the van, but ditching the engine. Let's do, let's do 10 liters. Back at it, I see, just can't stay away from the drive, no. The the road beckons, and I answer. 
Oh, wait, no, tip that. Roll it over. Oh, no. Come on. I think we can s spin it in. <laughs> Come on. Damn. Pour some out. I know, but I I want to. I'm I'm trying to be greedy here. Also, I don't want to pour the oil into the grass. What if someone comes by and tries to have a picnic here? And they just sit down in the oil. Sixty is the max you can carry. Well, I carried sixty-eight point three. Strongest man. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. We, we're just going to leave that. Oh, no, we're not going to leave it. I have too many barrels now. I'm all barreled up. Like a barrel of monkeys. I mean, I mean, please, please. Thank you. Can I stack these on top? No. <laughs> I have too many barrels. I have the bed. The bed is for uh, getting to spaces that I can't normally. <laughs> the bed is my Half-Life 2 speedrunning trick where you grab a pallet and fly up places where you shouldn't be. It's also for sexy times. True. Very true. What? Where did that go? gone. It's lost to the void. Oh, the magic carpet just got a broom low. <laughs> yeah. True. But we had a broom, and I don't know where I, where I left it. Broom's gone. So for now, we have a bed. Alright. Uh, what, what barrel was I going to shoot? Was it this one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. How far away is 300 meters? <laughs> Anybody got a uh, measuring stick? A yardstick to measure the meters. Am I supposed to see what I'm shooting? <laughs> I'm going to save before I shoot. Okay. Let's go back until they disappear. Stay over there, rabbit. You don't want any of this. back <laughs> okay let's save in case we get blown up by this we didn't get blown up by it congrats everyone we survived <laughs> Alright, where's the road? There it is. You didn't get the cascade. Unfortunate. Mm. 
What? Excuse me? <laughs> you don't get to survive. Bunny's made of steel. <laughs> Not anymore. Actually, no, he would still be made out of steel. He'd just be dead. Dying doesn't change the composition that you're made of. Oh, look at that. Fingers crossed we find a zombie here. Oh, where'd that go? Oh, it's in my lap. And a long plank? No, it's a long drive. You silly dilly. No zombies? I'm Madge. Wait, what do we need a long plank for? For the zon- Oh, true! True and valid. But if not, we can see if he can- he can jump up it. Cause they- they did jump up on top- Uh oh. Our uh, Our door got a little, uh... Busted. Oh, probably from me tipping the van over. Is that a live zombie cage? Uh, hopefully? It got a little goofed up though, it looks like. I can't grab the thing from there. I have to be inside it to grab it now? No, it's not even working. Please? It's so weird trying to angle that. I don't want to take these off and have to put them back on again though. can't imagine anything will attack me out here. Uh, I should have turned my car off. That's fine. We've got enough fuel. We'll be fine. Hate that three-cylinder two-stroke motor. It's the sound of uh, just getting back from Taco Bell. Okay. I have to figure out how... What way do I need to turn this? Such it's so weird. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Surely we'll be able to open and close that while a zombie is in there just hanging out. Chasing us down. That's, this isn't going to work. <laughs> There's no way I figure out how to spin that quickly enough.
gonna be um kind of rough if we uh, find giant tires individually instead of all at the same time. <laughs> so we don't have room to store them very much. When can I get a um a vanity horn that plays songs when I press it? Like da 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 da. When do I get that? That's is that the house or is that the haunted house? I think it's just the house. But we should be able to find a zombie there. No bus though. No buses. It's the good house. I do enjoy these houses. Can usually find some good stuff here. The garage is always nice, yeah. Ooh. All right. Stay in there real quick, buddy. I got some prep to do before we before we meet each other. Come on over. Come over over here. Hey, turn around. Okay, go out that way then. I guess over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Come on up. Yeah. No, come come over to this side. Oh, don't. He moved it. Oh, no. <laughs> He's going to be able to get out because he just moved it. Alright. We're going to resort to this. We're, what are you opening that for? <laughs> come on. <laughs> Okay, well, get up here and do it. That's fine. <laughs> Come here. Where are you going? <laughs> he got bored. He Come here. <laughs> yeah, come get me. Come on. Faster. Jump up. You did it before. I know you can. One leg here, one leg there. I wonder if the baskets are in the way. Blood everywhere. One leg here, one leg there. There's going to be blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You got to cover your mouth when you're going to cough like that. Let's see if he'll jump up without the baskets there. Yeah, come on. Come on, 
Oh no. <laughs> it's all falling apart. Look, he's doing it himself. <laughs> I like that every once in a while he just gives up and walks away. Oh, never mind, he's coming back. Looking for rain then back on the trail. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to empty out the back of the van. Let's bring them all the way out here. And then see if we can lose his leash and get him to just kind of hang out here for a little bit while I empty out the back of the van. I don't think I can. No, he's too fast. Too fast, too quick. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Can you open this door for me again? Could you be of some use at least? No, oh, the barrels are too heavy. <laughs> All right, maybe we can lose them inside. Come over here. This way. Come on. In. No! <laughs> Bastard. Oh, there's two of them. Great. <laughs> Kill one, save the other. Uh, this should work. Okay. Let me empty this out. We'll try to trap them in the back. And then we can just put everything on top. With pallets. Did he get out? No, okay. Thought he was getting closer. Oh, he just so. Oh, true. <laughs> what if we put a pallet in front of the doors? <laughs> Before he can do it. That was how, how else can we do this then? Because there's no way we're getting a pallet in front of the doors. You should try. You should lay down the bed so he can sleep. <laughs> it's very, very kind of a thought for you. Or from you, Jim, now. Okay, give me two pallets. What? It, all right. Surely, surely the door. Get a long plank and lead him up a ramp. Up a ramp to where? Oh, he got out. <laughs> Same effort. <laughs> the trap I he's he was able to move the um the trap door too so I don't think that even works oh wait hang on I'm going to get you 
Okay, hold up. <laughs> Sit down. Please? Here. Let me let me show you. <laughs> Did we do it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sit down with me. It's breaking, it's leaning back. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Just sit inside. I think there's different places. Okay, he's giving us a moment of respite. Just let me out. I w no, I wanted to work on things. Because you can put those farther back. Stop attacking me while I'm trying to do things. Okay. Looks like it for a second there. Alright, now get it. <laughs> hey, bud. Come on. No, nope. don't get on top. Come in. You look really healthy. Mm -hmm. Don't run. Everyone has to die sometimes. Hey. Why not now? Come on. Don't move. I am coming. I am coming. Mm -hmm. I am just trying to be your friend. I know you can Please crouch. Alright, we gotta give him a ramp. Like Jeff was saying. Wait, did he get in? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No, 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 no. Wait, he's not even opening it. Alright, let's see if this is drivable. Oh my god, we've done it, boys. <laughs> no, he got out! No! <laughs> Stop. Wait, he should be fine because he can't get past the pallet. So he should be fine to open doors. <laughs> Let's see if he eats the back of your head. I don't think he can. Oh, it looks like he might be able to. I think I'm losing health because I'm hungry. Need another pallet as a barrier? I think we might be fine, honestly. Oh, maybe I'm hurt, getting hurt. Yeah, he's hurting me. I don't know how I would get a pallet in there to be a barrier. Oh, 
Can I take the seats out? No. through the window I don't know how we're gonna get get this drivable at this point and I don't want to pull him out because I think it was a complete fluke that he got in there to begin with does the other van have a partition oh true hang on let me sleep oh wait hang on we can't sleep in here stop opening doors I think the other van probably doesn't because it's completely stripped. Okay, I'm glad he's still there. But we can find out. Sag. Um... I don't like that the door that he can open is on this side, though. I guess we could just take the door off. As long as the pallet's there to stop him. Because I just don't want that to swing open as I'm driving close to a telephone pole and just hook us. Um, I don't... I don't know... He's getting out. Just move the pallet in place of barrier quick. Place a barrier quick. Wouldn't isn't the pallet the barrier? What the oh no. Okay. Oh you're saying I see what you're saying. I think I would imagine he will get out if I pull this. He's he's just standing there. Oh true. No, well, too late. <laughs> okay. Let me trap him inside the house again. Come on, big guy. I am just trying to be your friend. Perfect. Okay. Now give me a pallet. Let me set this a little better. I hate that you can't, like, center it how you want it. Sometimes. Although he wasn't really opening that one. Alright, give me this pallet so that we have a quick one to throw on there. Actually, let's use this as a ramp to make it a little bit easier for him to just walk in. And then this one will be the one we use to trap him. Or, I mean, we could probably even use that. That would probably be way easier, but we'll see. Where are you? Hey. One leg here, Turn around. Turn around. Be blood Turn around. 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 Turn around.
well. Yeah. One leg here. There you go, big guy. There. Mm -hmm. There's going to be blood yep. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't use my escape method now. <laughs> How's it going, Land of Hobo? Welcome in. Oh, where's he going? Come on. Good, what you trying to do? We're trying to trap a zombie in the back of our van. <laughs> Alright. We got it to work without the pallet one time. Come on. Get in. Get in. Come over here and help this one hurt a bit. What if I sit in the middle one? I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on, man. Just work with me. Just work with me. Come over here and help this one hurt a bit. Come over here and help this one hurt a bit. Come back here. Come on. Grab your little neck. Oh, oh, here we go. No. I think I think that was just a complete fluke the last time we got him to do it. Oh, come on. I want to pull that pallet out from under the tire so it's not angled up also. So true. How about you get in here and kill me then? Just crouch down. I know you can. I've seen you do it. Just crouch. Crouch, 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 crouch. Please crouch. Get in here. I'm begging you. Oh. What? I mean, if you want to sit in the passenger seat, as long as you don't eat on, chew on my head, you can. I'll let you. Yes, 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 yes. Why can't I attach this? We did it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, and it should be safe now. Cool. Captive zombie at last, yeah. And he's got a little thing so we can feed him if we need to. wants me to be here. I'm okay. just trying to rip off your face and use it as my own. Don't move. I am coming. I am coming. Alright, now we just gotta store everything on the roof. ASMR drive. Come over here and help this one hurt a bit. <laughs> Come over here and help this one hurt a bit. Alright. Where is he? Okay. 
I gotta keep making sure he didn't somehow get out. <laughs> it's so funny when he pops his head out like that. Get the door off the other van. The other van is just a stripped van, so there's... You can't get anything off of that. He will disappear when you reload the game, I know. I've, I'm already, like, prepared myself for that. That's fine. We'll just get another one. Sometimes, why not now? Oh my God, this barrel's so heavy. Everyone has to die sometimes. Why not now? Mod for Elon Musk. What do you mean, mod for Elon Musk? Are you saying that's Elon Musk in the back of my car? Oh, the top heavy hell. <laughs> yeah. A derpy Elon Musk, isn't he already? <laughs> this is fun. Run, little squirrel, run. <laughs> Let me taste your flesh. You look really healthy. We might have to ditch the bed. Unless this room to lay it There's going to be blood on its side like this. As long as we can get it on them enough for it to physics lock. Like that. <laughs> Only that's... Oh no. <laughs> Hoarding 101. <laughs> Look, I'm the ultimate hoarder. I'm hoarding I'm hoarding a zombie. Perfect. Alright, you gotta do tie your onto rim. Okay. Oh, I should've... Oh, I have another bed. Alright, let's see if there's anything here that we need before we head out. Katana? Katana? Dead zombie friend? Bats? I guess we could see if there's a broom in the well. I'm not jumping down there. <laughs> Sausage. What? What did you not know that you can fly in beds? Everyone, everyone knows you can just fly in a bed. Time with rubber wives, I guess you like them while they're still warm. I sure do. I guess it would have probably been a better idea to bring this up with me. Runs my water. 
<laughs> you ready for the most uh, annoying drive? You're the ones you don't hear them nag about everything. Because <laughs> I'm ready for the most annoying drive. Alright. Let's... Let's go. Wait, hang on. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy that view. He's very quiet. Maybe when you're driving, he, uh, see what happens when you sleep. I think we already slept with him in there once, didn't we? Also, why am I not accelerating? Is he, like, <laughs> I'm going, like, 37 right now, and it's not going any faster. I'm assuming he's, uh, preventing me from being able to go very fast. Oh, I can't turn the light on either. Here we'll sleep. I'm pretty sure he'll stay because I'm pretty sure we fell asleep with one in there earlier. I didn't turn the car off. <laughs> He's also making the car lean slightly to the right. Come on, man. Sit, sit in the center of the, the van. But yeah, I can't go past like 30, 37. It's pinned there. Oh, and a freaking UFO. Like, what the fuck? UFO's like, I'm I'm just I'm getting out of here. I don't I don't even want to know what you're doing, man. Yeah, he's slowing us down completely. Was the guy in the back doing? He's just hanging out. He's chilling. He's our zoo exhibit. It's the same guy on the radio anyway. Oh yeah, isn't it just the, the guy that made the game doing all the voice lines? Getting up, we're getting up to speed a little bit more. We just, it just takes a while. <laughs> He's whistling. You find the radio station? Oh yeah, what? Does anyone know what station that is? Cover your mouth when you cough like that, man? Come on. There's other people here. I'm not trying to get sick.
I want them to do a big RV next. That would be cool. Comes with a fridge already in it. A bed already in it. Be nice if he sat in the middle of the van. So I didn't have to keep hitting left to stay on the road. The bendy bus is big enough. That's true. I don't think I've ever actually driven the bendy bus. Just the regular bus. I guess we don't really need the pallet on the far back also. Considering that he can't quite get back there anyway. It's kind of awful to drive. That's what I assumed. The regular bus is just slow. So I can only imagine that's just slow and like annoying because you have to maneuver it even more. Now we really need to try that, try a bigger motor to make sure, or to see if we can actually go a drivable speed with this guy in it. Because going 40 kilometers per hour is uh, going to make this a very, very, very long drive. The bus is okay downhill and it's safe, yeah, but I mean... <laughs> Driving flatland with it isn't the most exciting drive. Or uphills. Uphill you get to fifty. I just want I just wanna fly, you know? Oh, he's sitting in the chair now. Just get comfy back there, big guy. <laughs> oh, hang on. What? I said, get comfortable. Let me do one of these. Oh wait, let's do it from this side. Oh no, I did that. Oh, I didn't do it on a hill. We're good. so slow. Well, what's, what, what should we name him? We gotta give him a name, right? Towing a trailer with the bus engine powered golf was the best all around drive I've had yet. I had, um, we did a haunted hayride on the last uh, run we did of this and then we had like the big the big truck with the bed um and a bunch of trailers and uh that was miserable <laughs> but we also had like i think at one point like six or seven trailers so flying down hills they would all just kind of lose control and flip around <laughs> dancing now. He's having the time of his life back there.
I wonder if the pallet being back there prevents him from seeing me. And if that makes it so that he doesn't really come up to me. The IFA truck is great, but still kind of slow. Yeah. Welcome in, Garnicus. This is our, our trapped zombie that we have. How'd you get him in here? Uh, we sat on the bench and waited for him to climb in, and then we jumped out of the van and put a pallet in the way to keep him from getting out. A lot of trial and error, but it worked after a while. He does make the car uh, only go 37, though. Without the pallet, you would die unless you move the seat to the forward position. Wish I was there. It was, uh, it was fun. <laughs> we were originally trying to make a cage on the top of the van that we could lure him up to and, like, close it in. But it became too difficult, so we, we figured we'd just empty out the van and store everything on the roof and just try to bait him into the back of the van. So now we have our, our traveling uh, traveling zoo. The bench seat might trap him in the very back. Oh, I see what you're saying. And then he would be able to see. We could try that if we ever get to another freaking stop anywhere. Catch the killer bunny next. Ooh. We could put Killer Bunny in the back back, and we could put him in the front, or have him where he is. All right, now I'm kind of, kind of interested in that idea. Bunnies are way too powerful. That is true. They could just nuke me immediately. And then if we die, it'll reload and he'll be gone. So I don't know. Is it worth? Is it worth it? They flip buses into the sky. Oh, you're saying just in general, like if it's in the back of the van, it's gonna launch us, which could be funny. in desperate need of a bigger motor at this point. <laughs> we do appreciate a good flip or two around these parts. That's true. That's true. Maybe try finding one of those trucks that has a big prison like back. Oh, that's true. Could do one of those. I don't know. This is a a pretty cozy little little setup we got going here, though. I don't know if we need to swap vehicles. I just need to swap engines to something more strong, more powerful. I don't know if I really feel like trying to bait them into another thing. <laughs> Speaking of flipping, they fixed a lot of buggy stuff. I haven't randomly flipped once past few days. That's nice, because back when I was doing the, uh, the bed run with the Plymouth, that thing would just randomly go flying every once in a while. <laughs> They fixed some of those bugs. That's good. Just need to scout for yellow bus stops and you'll find a truck. Yeah. Well, if we ever get anywhere, again, we're pinned at going 37 kilometers per hour, so. We're just, uh. We're just taking things slow, I guess. <laughs> for now. It's a bed run. Oh, the bed run was we just uh, stacked as many beds on top of each other on top of a vehicle as we could. 
I think our max was like 10 before it became extremely undrivable and would tip every time you turned. <laughs> barrel run next <laughs> I mean we already we've got a bunch of barrels up there already I like that he's just looking out the window I keep forgetting I can't turn the light on back there because I can't reach the light. Because of my safety pallet. Open the door. Oh, true. Oh, the back light doesn't turn on when you open the front door? Hang on. Let me out. <laughs> the moment I get out, he sees me. Oh, I can't reach the light back there, but I can open the back door. We don't need the back pallet, actually. There we go. Hey, bud. Why is he cowering in the corner? <laughs> Pallet on here, and we'll be on our way. Are we looking for food? Let me eat some food real quick. Oh, I gotta poop. He's afraid of what I want with him. I just want to be friends. I don't want. I don't want anything else from him. If anything, I want to rehabilitate him. I want to bring him back to being a human. Oh, I just ate some poop. Wait, hang on. Would I be able to lower the barrier a little bit? To make him be able to see me? I don't want to risk him being able to bite me from there. You get to the end of the road and he becomes normal. Well, guess what we gotta do now. Even though there's no... Unless I just... just freaking stayed live for the next... How many hours it would take to get to the end of the road. Surely that would only take... Like, two days going 37 kilometers, right? Oh, I do need to fill up soon also. To be able to move the bench seat without moving the pallet. I could just climb in the back. And do it. Let's see. So you're saying move the bench seat up to trap him behind it, right? Uh, what the heck? No. He just got on top of it. Still see you, you <laughs> stranger. I am just uh, trying to be your friend. Stay still. 
I am staying still. I'm going to get there we go. That looks wrong. <laughs> All right. Don't run. Everyone has to die sometimes. Why not now? Can we get this out? Is the question now. <laughs> Come over here and help this one out a bit. I guess we don't need this one here either. As long as he doesn't figure out a way to jump over that. Now the light's always on in the back. Uh, I'd like to get a better pallet placement. On the back door. I should have done that before we moved him in the back. Onto pallet like the porch last night. You're saying like, give him a little porch. thing is I don't want him to jump up and out because I know they can. Don't be afraid. I'm just trying to rip off your face. So we'd have to put use it as my own. <laughs> Come over here and help this one out a bit. I am just trying to be your friend. Stay still. Can't get it to line up well. Come on. I guess we could do this. Let me taste your flesh. You look really healthy. <laughs> do I have any extra pa pellets? No. So yeah, we'll have to... <laughs> oh, maybe he can't see me still. Maybe he's still too far away. Just not looking at you. We'll turn around, big guy. Dad's over here. Wrap up my brain. Wrap up my brain. walking. He's getting his steps in for the day. <laughs> He's doing the creep. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you.
Uh oh. Oh no, he died. <laughs> rip, rip the dude. I'm sorry I failed you. You were great. Oh, dude. We had some great memories. Now off to the pallet. Off to the pallet. Alright, now we can work on building... Taking him all the way, right? We have a method now, at least, yeah. No, I, was, I assumed we were gonna get a new one. I mean, we can bring him along as our first, our first uh, experiment, our proof of concept. Uh, I guess we don't need the back door. Come on, big guy. <laughs> How do you just carry him so easily? I'm big and strong. Mobile Zomboy Zoo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's not even touching it. It's not even touching the pallet. <laughs> oh my god, we can actually... We're going double the speed we were going already. This van looks like one of those traveling merchants. It kind of feels like it. What are you buying? What are you selling? Sounds like we have our next victim <laughs> ready to go. Uh, we might have to wait on getting a new guy. Or, I mean, we can always just leave him like this. Oh, we don't have the barriers anymore. All right. Um, I mean, there's pallets. Can we do it discreetly? He'll never know. No. Oh wait, hang on. We can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come out this way. Yeah, come on. All right, now lose sight of me and forget that I was here, real quick. Oh wait, yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. I think we need, um, oh, <laughs> this is something that we could use. Nice little diesel engine there. Which one? This one? Is it better than the, the Pontiac engine, though? <laughs> He's enjoying his last few moments of freedom. I'm happy for him. Um, I wish there was like metal rods in here. Hang on one second. I gotta fix something. There we go. It's not 
not as fast, but it's a fuel sipper. I'm not too worried about fuel right now. We have a ton of stuff already. Or like a ton of barrels <laughs> full of uh what is this? Oh that's not a pet. I'd rather have something that can potentially go a good top speed, especially when these guys are slowing us down completely. If we can put this like this, maybe? And then he shouldn't be able to get out, but he should have a nice back porch. Oh, I, f I forgot he was up there for a second. <laughs> All right, let's tip this. Pull that out. Gas and oil, gas, oil. I just want speed at this point. Oh no, it blocks the cap? What do you mean? What blocks the cap? The pallet? Are you saying this? The idea of having that pallet there is so that he can't jump out. It gives him a nice porch, but he can't get out from it. Oh, I'm stuck under it again. Side pellet blocks the fuel cap. Oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, we can do it. Oh. No, I can get to it. Oh, he found me. Hang on. I'm not ready for you yet. Oh, he's going to open doors. Shit. I'm going to get you. I would imagine he can't get up. Did he just climb in himself? Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> Come back here. Hang on. Let me. I think I can sleep here and be safe. No, I can't sleep anyway. Thanks for saying I look healthy, I guess. It's very kind of you. Oh, no. Get the seat out and lure him to the porch. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, if I lure him to the porch, then I can't, I can't get out. I have no way to get out if I lure him there, because he'll just trap me back there. Where is he? You get on top. I can't get out of the the that pallet's there as a as a trap. I think we got to do it the regular way. To die sometimes. Why not now? Come on. <laughs> he walked in when I jumped on top. That is true. I am coming. <laughs> hey. No, no. Stop. Stop. You're doing it wrong.
Come here. Come here, you bastard. <laughs> Oh god, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to eat. No. I need food. Oh good, my cat's jumping in my way right now. So you wait till he gets in and you walk to the back and replace the seat. I don't... I feel like that might have just been a fluke. God, he is not having it. Run. Everyone has to die sometimes. Why not now? <coughs> Come over here and help this one hurt a bit. Stop. <laughs> Come over here and help this one hurt a bit. Come on. My legs are not so good, so please stop. I want to take a look at you. My I keep walking away now. Good, so please stop. I want Come to on. Take a look at you. All right, I'm gonna make it daytime. Maybe if we give him a ramp. I think we we tried that last time, right? Look at him dancing out there. Oh Lord, he coming. Trying to be your friend. Stay still. Hey, come on. Alright, we can I'll try to give him a ramp. Behind you. I'm behind you. Why won't you climb in here? You did it yourself. Do you know? Do you know what we're trying to do? Perfect music, yeah. <laughs> Please come over here. What are you? <laughs> Just gonna close the the door on himself. Come on. Stood on top of it, you kind of lowered that part of the van so he climbed in. Yeah, I, f I feel like that was just an absolute fluke. Like, I don't think we could just replicate that easily. Come on. I don't know why he keeps losing attention so easily. Maybe his pathfinding is just not... Oh, he wants to so bad. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. No. No. Put the ramp on the floor near the door. Oh, as just like a step up type of thing? That could work. He's just dancing on it. We gave him a dance floor. <laughs> Come on, man. Work with me. Ants in his pants. Just gonna fart at him real quick. 
He is uh, kind of eating our health down to a little bit. Come on. How did we get this relatively easily last time? Where'd he go? Come on. Just jump up, please. I don't I don't understand why this doesn't work now. What if Come stand on this real quick. I'm going to pick you up. Why? Why are you running over here? Stop. Rotate him in. <laughs> yeah. Climb up. Come on. Just, just do a little crouch. Look. Now you're trapped. Come on. Yes. Yes. Everyone has to die sometimes. Why not now? Okay. Now we just gotta maneuver the that bench oh no okay well as long as he doesn't figure out he can jump out that way don't do it shit behind you big guy I'm behind you uh-huh I would really appreciate it if you did yeah 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 <laughs> Oh, fuck. If I just stand here. Yes, yes, we did it. <laughs> I don't move. I am coming. I am coming. <laughs> Alright, so we we found out you can pick them up and put them in. I wonder if him being on the pallets out here will make it so that I can actually drive at a reasonable speed also. Oh, I also put the Plymouth motor in, or the, yeah. So that should help also. He's coming. Here he comes. Come over here and help this one hurt a bit. All right, let's see if there's anything in here that we actually could use. Like some baskets, maybe. I am just trying to be your friend. Stay still. Okay, that one can stay. Is this just gas? We'll take gas. I think we still gotta fill this up with pure gas. Or right, we could probably burn off what's in it. Or no, we can just kill this. We'll just bring the ratio down enough that it doesn't affect it too much. Come back here. <laughs> Blue smoke van. 
blue smoke fan. What does that mean? Oh no, he's gonna be in the exhaust. Hopefully he doesn't need oxygen to breathe and can just be fine with exhaust. Bro's dancing. You'll be puffing blue smoke for a while with the. Oh, I see what you're saying. We'll be fine. I am just trying to be your friend. Stay still. One leg here, one leg there. There is going to be blood everywhere. It's gonna be blood everywhere. I hope that with him having this little back area, that it will allow him or allow the van to drive without being held back if he just stays back there. At least faster now. <laughs> Gotta love broken English ASMR Zomboy as a trip companion. With the way that we're trapping them now, we could potentially get more than one. Especially with that extra space in the back that we gave them. We could we could get more than one now. miserable driving with more than one will be because this is already kind of obnoxious having to turn left every two seconds it would be a challenging drive yeah that's what i'm saying but it would be funny why is there no one coming to bring us food dude what do you mean I'm glad he likes his little uh, porch, though. And we're at least topping out at a, a hundred instead of thirty-seven. I'm willing to try at least two to see how miserable it is. Getting launched into the air by a rock will do. Oh, it'll probably just kill him like it did with the rabbit. Now that I think about it. We gotta get some lights back there for him. Did I have any of the extra, like, work lights? I don't remember. I am 
Oh, I do have one on the side. Right, we can transfer that over next time we stop. It's going to be sad when we have to call in at night and lose this guy. Driving with Zomboy, when Zomboy is like having a guy with Parkinson's in the back of your motorcycle, I can imagine, I can't imagine having to. I mean, we'll, we'll figure it, we'll find out. If it's unbearable, we'll, we'll kill one somehow. <laughs> it's going to be a, oh wait, we have guns, we can just shoot one. We'll make them do party tricks, and whichever one does the dumbest one, we kill we kill the other one. And then we leave the corpse back there to remind them. My A keys were getting a workout. gonna be even if it's not miserable driving with two of them it's gonna be kind of annoying the whole time you guys are gonna be talking up a storm the whole time if you slam on the brake and the e-brake. He's fine. He's actually happy. He enjoyed that. Did you like that one, bud? Was that fun for you? Okay. He's, he's coughing because of all the the smoke from the tires. I was hoping it would slide forward. He might be caught in that little, like, edge that's coming off from the door frame. Because it doesn't line up perfectly. So he may have gotten caught. Oh my god. I think I just saw lightning outside. Is it supposed to rain tonight? Yeah. Supposed to get a storm. I'm gonna turn my lights off and hopefully enjoy a thunderstorm. And hopefully my power doesn't go out. I love a good storm. I do too. I have my bedroom where I have my computer set up has just a wall of windows. 
So when when I get a good storm, it's just it's beautiful. Hang on, there's a gas station here. Oh, should we take him off the jump? I mean, that's. I don't know why we, why I would even ask. Of course, we should take him off the jump. You want to go and do a little jump, big guy? You want to hit a hit a jump? Yeah, he wants to do a jump. Of course, he does. No friends though. Oh, I knew we need to eat and drink some water. You have plasma balls to enhance the thunder experience? What does that mean? What's a plasma ball? Are you talking about like the things that have like a bunch of light coming off of them and you can touch them and the it touches you? Okay. Hopefully we can heal now. Little test. Oh, okay. I see. That's cool. Let's hit this sick jump with our boy. What the heck? They're sound sensitive so they flash when they're asunder? Oh, that's neat. go oh I have a oh never mind here we don't go why did that not work what did we get caught on did I hit it at the wrong angle let's try it one more time Please go. There we go. <laughs> okay. That was less exciting than I thought it would be. Can't get. Hang on. <laughs> he just loves hanging out back there, I guess. I mean, I can't say that that wouldn't be my favorite place to sit if I was in a car, just on the porch, if a car had a porch while you were driving and you could be safe in it somehow. I don't think he can walk forward. We're going too fast for him to be able to. You have so many, have no idea what's going on, so many questions. Well, we're, we have a, a zombie zoo.
What other questions? What are, what are these questions? We've got a little buddy. He's just hanging out. You built a zombie cage out of pallets? Yeah. Isn't that what everyone does? It's like a hamster wheel back there. Yeah, he's just he's just slowly slowly walking. I play my game slightly different. I mostly drive. Ah, see that's where you're wrong. You get, you're supposed to do stupid shit with this game. Not drive. This game's this game's like 5% driving uh, and 95% uh, what kind of dumb shit can you do? Oh, I'm playing vanilla. This is all vanilla. There really is. The the game is like a beautiful sandbox. They they put a you can tell they put a lot of love into it. At least the game isn't so lonely anymore. Exactly. And we're we're gonna try to get another one to see how miserable it makes the driving experience, but until then we got we got our friend for now. We've killed one on accident. He's um He's up here. Never knew they crouched. Yeah. It's hard to get them in here. Um, but every once in a while you'll find them crouching. What the heck? Maybe he's okay and he's just doing yoga? Exactly. Surely there's nothing wrong with him and he's just... He's just stretching. Story based NPCs you can pick up like hitchhikers. That would be cool. Yeah, no, I mean, I've. I think it would be really cool to have, like. More. More things to kind of do. Like, there's only so much you can really get from stopping at places every time. And story would be cool, but I feel like. I feel like the game lends itself to kind of creating its own narrative as you go. As you build dumb things, you kind of make up a story yourself. <laughs> like now we're we're creating a, a mobile zoo for zombies. Or yesterday we created a mobile museum. A mod with NPC drivers, that'd be cool. I feel like you wouldn't want them to be super common though. Like I feel like that's something you would want to pop up very sparingly. Did we capture one? Did we capture one? Of course we did, Turkey. Come on, man. Yeah, let me. Look at him. We even gave him a little porch. We. This was the first one we captured, but then we ran into a rabbit and he died. But yeah. He's trapped in there, especially in the bus. Twenty people fit twenty people in the bus, and the zombie gets in and turns them all. That'd be cool. You should give him snacks and a TV. Oh, that would be nice of us, wouldn't it? We should. Next time we see a TV, we'll give him one. Oh, I would... Actually, while I'm stopped. I wanted to give him a light. Do the sides of pallets also physics lock things? Oh, no! <laughs> Everyone has to die sometimes. Why not now? Doing his jump squats while the other does yoga. It's the fitness fan. What's his name? We actually didn't give him a name. If anyone has a name they want to give him. I guess we'll find out if that physics locks. Or can we... Fred? 
I think Fred's a good name. Will this physics lock? If I hold it here, just drop it face down on the top pallet. Oh, it doesn't. Fed. Will it shine through the top pallet? Oh, he's hurting me. Fred, come on, man. I'm trying to give you a light, dude. Stop. It's not like I've trapped you into a lifetime of servitude. It should. I think it is. All right. Also, welcome in, Tarkov. How's it going? <laughs> Hey, thanks for the follow, Hoodius. Fred's dead, baby. Fred's dead. Fred's. I mean, I guess he is dead. Uh, he's technically undead. Ever watched Drop Dead Fred before? That movie was my childhood. It's a good movie. It still holds up, too. Come on, <laughs> my cat is in the way. There we go. I was about to say Drop Dead Fred. It's, it's a classic movie, dude. Think we can find another friend right now? Another Fred and, and potentially a TV for him? I thought that was like a mini ramp. You alright, bud? It's a pretty bad cough you got. I've only seen it twice, but it's a great movie. It really is. We used to have it on VHS and we'd watch it all the time. He's fine, just needs some milk. Oh, I'm John Half Life. Sick. No friends? We can give him a wife. For now. <laughs> Hell yeah, rubber wife party. <laughs> Truck, yeah. Give him a pet dog too. Neat. There we go. Perfect. Look at all that AK ammo. You'll love to see it. Actually, let's just do this. Uh, we'll leave that. I'm not gonna worry about five ammo. We'll find you a friend soon. Where'd you Where'd you put your wife? Oh no, he's gonna get me. <laughs> Come back. Oh. Why can't he bite me from here? He could bite me from here. <laughs> Air fuel. <laughs> Welcome back, War Red Warrior. Um, we uh, trapped a zombie. And gave him a porch and a wife and a dog. This was our first zombie. You got him. We did. We did. It took a while, but we got him. Somehow the zombies get to be less creepy when than most player created characters. Yeah. They're just they're just dudes trying to 
make it through the, the wasteland, you know? They're just, they're just innocent men. Oh my god, he is making this extremely hard to drive right now. <laughs> okay, oh wait, hang on. Wait, did he die? Oh no. No. <laughs> A moment of silence for Fred. Maybe he's just rep maybe it's a trap. Maybe it's Maybelline. Fred. You were good. You were one of the best. That looks like it may have been pretty painful. Chihuahua got him. <laughs> he got bit by his dog. That's actually a pretty cool pose though. <laughs> I kind of want to leave him like that. Like, <laughs> Stretched to death. Alright, Fred, you can stay like that for now. A reminder of what we had. I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss the... The one leg here, one leg there. The when will someone bring us food? Almost like the toilet zomboy last night, yeah. He looks like he's trying to like <laughs> push his way out with in the position that he died. Oh hey, thanks for following Dad Wrestler. Appreciate you. Oh, and you got first. Nice, nice. Howdy. I think the speed killed him. It may have been the speed, or it may have been one of the um, one of the tumbleweeds. Because we, I think we had just hit a tumbleweed. And then, like, he died a few seconds later. So I think it may have been a tumbleweed that we hit that, like, jostled him ever so slightly. Oh, damn, we're going fast. We have the uh, the Plymouth motor in here right now. And without a, a zombie to slow us down, it uh, doesn't... It kind of goes off. How'd you get him in in the first place? You'll see. We'll get another one. Maybe it was natural causes. Fucking flying. We, we, we do be flying. We uh, have brought the speedometer all the way back around. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh. Reached the end of his natural life and passed peacefully in his pallet cave. Oh god. We're having a little issue with stopping. Have we discovered infinite speed? That's the dream. I don't hear any voices, so I don't think we're getting any friends right now, but we can... Oh wait, hold up. You don't even know what you're trying to say, big guy. You don't know what that means. Here. Oh my god. Oh my god. He knows. No, no, no. Oh, damn it. That was so close. Hang on the dream it really was all right we need this we need to lay that there no stop grabbing me you're killing me sir he's the one who's gonna catch me yeah okay we can just slide this under you real quick come back come back come here Come over here. <laughs> Quit dancing. Looking for rain again? He really is. 
Oh my god, why are you over there? Where are you going? Alright, well, while he's off, kind of just. Oh, never mind, he's back. I was gonna try to sleep. But this is fine, too. Stop kicking that under there, you bastard! I am just Why? Trying to be your friend. Stay still. Alright. Now come stand on this real quick for me. Just, just one foot here, one foot there. Stand on this pallet and fly in the air. Come back. Why are you running off into the desert? Hey. No. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. One leg there. So true. There's going to be blood yes. There, there, no. How did we get the other one to step on this? You look really healthy. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Just oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, climb in here. Climb in. Just, just crouch a little bit. Damn it. Come on, get over here. You look really healthy. All right, think we can get a good quick nap in before he kills us? What a coward! Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't run. Everyone has to die sometimes. No, why won't this attach? Please. Thank you. Okay. I don't know I am coming. I am coming. We did it. <laughs> Fred too. Here's your wife. Uh, say hi to old Fred for me. <laughs> oh my god, another AK. Everyone has to die sometimes. Why not now? Oh my god, I almost just shot myself. <laughs> just casually shoot your leg off. You'll shoot your leg off. Unload? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't be afraid. I'm just now let's call him something else. Something with no respect since he's a coward. My own. Oh, what, what name you got for him? I'm going to get you. Yeah? Ooh. Ooh. He's a feisty one. I don't know if this guy is a coward. He's got a little... A little Juice to him. Some water? Can I drink this out of the bus? Let me drink the water from the fuel tank. Garbage? You want to name him Garbage? That's, that's rough. I'm going to get you. I'm going to the truck one won't fit properly. Feel that quad pump? Do we take this? I think we're fine with the engine we got. I think we, I think the dream, oh my god, he's, maybe we take old Fred out? I don't know I am coming. I am coming. Don't he's coming, guys. He's coming. I'm just trying to rip off your face. I don't know how to get him out without. <laughs> Come on. 
come on. His name is Craig. All right, Craig, it is. Did wasn't Craig one of the guys from last 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 time we did this? Leave him. He's padding. Well, he's he's in the way of the uh of the porch. He can't enjoy the porch now. Oh, I can touch his butt. Craig Jr. Okay. No. Thanks. I'm going to get you. Can't get him out. Do you think if I take the roof off, he will jump out? Do we risk it? Ow. Wow, dude. Don't risk it? Okay. Could just leave him? Alright, he can at least get back there now. Alright. What do we got here? Gas? Keep a treasure chest of human meat? That's a can of worms we don't want to deal with. True. Ooh, I don't want to drink the gas. I would not like to drink the gas. Thank you. Alright, let me eat. Because I'm still not, like, even part healed. Okay. I think we're good to go. Hang on. Don't be afraid. I'm just trying to rip off your face and use it as my own. Mm hmm. He knows what we've done. He knows. Alright. They're just hanging out together now. They're good. They're good. Watch him. Watch him what? He's fine. Here, I can give you a camera so that you can watch him. I'm the driver. I don't have, I don't have time to watch him. Can't babysit everyone. I'm already babysitting you guys. Is he stuck back? Oh, he's probably stuck in the... He's trying to walk forward, but we're going too fast for him to. Waddle? Yeah, he's waddling. We were so close to being able to have two at once, too. All right, next time one dies, which fingers crossed that never happens again. I don't want to lose Craig Jr. too. Uh, but next time one of them dies, we should probably clear out the corpses. So what's up with the truck engine and all the diesel? Uh, we can probably get rid of that at this point. <laughs> we, got, we got the Plymouth in here now. And these guys... These guys slow us down a ton. Like, I'm going max 110 right now with him in the back. So I think we're just going to stick with the Plymouth for right now. Oh, God. There's a haunted house up here, guys. <laughs> Do we, uh, curious to see what happens in a flip? I would imagine he dies. But I'm also not, not, uh, not going to attempt to try to do it. <laughs> if it happens automatically, or naturally, then sure.
but uh, I'm not I'm not gonna try to do a flip and lose potentially <laughs> a ton of wheels and things and just lose this whole van expedition right now. Do we stop at the haunted house and see how many friends we can get though? Losing speed. We're rapidly losing speed. Got plenty of room, so true. Curious as to what happens if you rip off his face and use it as your own. I don't know if I can do that. You can turn on peaceful and get three in there. Jeff, we can't turn on peaceful. That's cheating. Oh no, he's going into the same position where Fred died. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He wants his freedom. Will they even chase you if they're in peaceful? Because if they won't chase you, then we can't get them in there. I think it's gravity yanking him back. Yeah, I would assume so. the house of of all of our friends all of our new friends and peaceful they're merchants are they now what do they sell what is it what are you buying what are you buying what are you selling it's got the treadmill effect going on i don't see how you'll get more in without getting killed we'll we'll see i'll i'll do it to the point where maybe we get close to dying and then I'll get out. But we'll see if we can get another. How much health are we at? We're at like half now. Open. Thank you. Look at how excited he is to get more friends. Yeah, we're gonna get you more friends. Woo! Oh my god, look at this bad boy. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm getting out this side. Oh, I know why I was getting out that side. He said this is fun. And he meant it. Oh wait, hang on, let me prepare a pallet. Your boy needs a seatbelt. <laughs> Anyone in the bathroom? Who up who up beating they worm? Where are they all? Where the boys at? Let's not grab one from down here. I feel like navigating them out from there is going to be a pain in the ass. Come on. Do we try to jump out the window with them? Come on. Perfect. Yeah, I know. If we took that top off, he would easily jump out. Oh, I left the car running. I don't know why I jumped in like, oh, hey, how's it going? Please? I am just trying to be your friend. Stay still. Damn. <laughs> Come back. Come back. 
I think the trick is to trap them in this like little crevice. Even if they're not up, then they will jump in an attempt to get out. They all figure it out and run away. They know. Well, I mean, especially with Craig Jr. back there. Craig Jr. is probably telling them to run. It's like, don't do it, man. Get out of here. Get out while you can. It's not worth it. All right, now jump. No, don't open that door. Where are you going? Come on. Come on. Hey. Don't be afraid. I'm just trying to rip off your face. And yours is my own. Uh-huh. So you should you should get in here then if you want to do that. Right? Don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. I'm now just crouch. trying to rip off your just face. Do it. Oh god. And yours is my own. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be so annoying. <laughs> Let me turn the car off also because we are just burning gas right now. So let me also sleep so that we can make it daytime. You can breed them. <laughs> oh, this is going to be the most annoying long drive. Could the, uh, yeah, Parkinson's driving. It's going to be. It's gonna be difficult to drive with these guys. They'll make a tiny villager, I mean, zombie guy. <laughs> Anyone else? Is this really one, a house with one dude? Really? Hmm. Looks like that's the only guy. Maybe there's a basement dweller. True. I'm just going to put this back and then we'll go and try to find food and stuff. Let's check the basement first, I guess. Uh, basement's down here. Nope. Basement's this way. Usually three or four. That's why I thought that there was usually a good amount of them, but I don't see any. Basement slash grave leads to the same place, yeah. Nope. Please flatten out. Thank you. Head in there? Yeah. Okay. Since we're not being a, a museum cur curator anymore, we can take the hat off. And where our zoo manager hat instead. <laughs> Are you guys ready to hear that this whole time? Zomboy wrangling hat? Exactly. Because I'm ready to hear that this whole time. Any food in the bathroom? Yeah. I wonder how many you can fit in the van. I mean, probably not much more, I can imagine. And I'm very worried about how driving this thing is going to be with all them guys in there. 
guess we're about to find out. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we can find more dudes. Move where they eat so smart, such a time saver. It really is. Should we give them some books? What do you think they like to read? Some Huck Finn? Some re read some Crime and Punishment? I'm sure these guys love a, a nice, extremely large book. Like some blue and red? Some blue and red it is. I'm sure nobody's ever tested this before. Maybe. Blue? Is that blue? Blue enough. This is the uh, Twilight series. You guys love Twilight. Oh, buddy. All right, I guess that's all the all the guys we got. They read R.L. Stein goosebumps. Good for them. <laughs> what are you looking for, huh? <laughs> Not looking for anything. That was rude. <laughs> I don't call you ugly. This is fun. Run, little squirrel. Run. Stop. I want to take a look at you. Don't be afraid. I'm just trying to rip off your face and use it as my own. My legs are Wait, hang on. So Give me this basket. Stop. I want to take a look at you. Come back here. My legs are not so good. So please stop. I want to take a look at you. Don't be afraid. You I'm just afraid. trying to rip off your face. You look real and use it as my own. Okay. Oh, wait. No, that's going to be annoying when we're trying to get a new one. Everyone we can put it on the roof, though. Sometimes. Why not now? I am just so afraid to be afraid. I'll be still. Sometimes. Why not now? I am coming. I am coming. They sure do come a lot. I am coming. I am coming. Perfect. All right. Let's see how miserable driving with two of them is. No, that's not too bad. Bless the redness. Okay, maybe it is kind of bad. Holy cow. Look at them dumpies, though. Holy, dude. They got me acting up. Yeah. Can't go very fast. Oh no, they're doing the thing. What thing? The thing where they make our car go extremely slow? Like towing a hippo? It really is. Crazy amount of pull. Would a diesel engine be better for this then? Should we try it? Hang on. Oh, was that this? Oh no, it was a guy. Okay. Torque is a f feature in game. All right, you guys need to come back here. I gotta get a pallet ready. Chill out. Oh, 
Oh, what the fuck? Oh no, I've trapped myself. <laughs> he outsmarted me. They're learning. Oh, he's coming back. He's like, you got out? What'd you do? Know? I got it. <laughs> he just said stop too. He does know. <laughs> oh god damn it! Come here. <laughs> no, you bastard! Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey. I can't grab it. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. No. No. Shit. You should... You should, um... You should get in there real quick. I'm just trying to rip off your face! This is a mess. <laughs> Come on, guys. Work with me. I'm just trying to rip off your face. Everyone back here. Come here. You see me? Come back here. Human popcorn. If only they would sit there. Uh, oh, you're saying sit on the bench. Oh, that one's stuck there. Wait, hang on. Oh. Come on, man. You guys should totally just come back here a little bit. <laughs> they synchronized. Yeah, go back. Go back that way. We did it. <laughs> Holy, dude. This van is not going to move. I can feel it already. Poop. Need to eat. Forced to poop. All right. Let's see how terrible this driving experience is now. Just chilling. Nanny cam? Sure.
We are going nowhere fast. Holy cow. <laughs> Should try a trailer. The bus doesn't have a way to connect a trailer, unfortunately. We'd have to change vehicles. I don't know why they didn't put a hitch on this, but for some reason you can't attach a trailer to the the van. Did I say bus earlier? I meant van if I did. This music is uh, not fitting for how fast we're going. a VW minibus well then I guess my words were correct we are struggling up this hill <laughs> what why did it oh god <laughs> Hang on, we're gonna find the perfect spot. What the heck? <laughs> the one on the left likes chewing in the pellet. <laughs> He's hungry. We're going 10 kilometers an hour right now. Up this hill. You need fiber on your diet. All the human meat can make you constipated. Wait, how do you know about human meat? friend told me oh okay that's fine though as long as it was a friend and not, not you in minecraft <laughs> Guys, we're not going anywhere quickly. At all. The one in the front really, uh, he's got the, the good end of the deal. He doesn't have a light shining directly on him. See if giving them enough room to stand will help with the speed. I don't know how we do that without letting them out, but I'm willing to try. I guess if I grab that pallet above them and then tilt it, while it's still in place. I can get that minibus. Oh god. A fucking UFO. Right now. When I have no speed as it is. <laughs> Their reaction to that was great. See if I can rotate it. Hang on. Let me sleep first. Place a pallet above the one that's there and pull. The oh yeah, we could just slowly build them up. Pull this light off. <laughs> He's actually not talking to me when he says run little squirrel run. He's actually just saw a squirrel out there. 
that he was really excited about to see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Surprised we didn't get pulled over for our our taillights being covered. want to be able to attach it right there. Cop asks to search your <laughs> trunk. I would imagine he would be able to see them before he gets up to the window. Okay. It's a little angled though. Eh, it might be fine. Oh. To write you a ticket for improperly secured zombie load. Why is your fan fil van filled with 17 zombies? Uh, going to the zombie convention? 
I'm supplying the spirit Halloweens. I gotta stock up before October hits. <laughs> Those zombies from out of state. That's the easy way to do it. Let's go. Let's place it like that. And then attach. Okay, and then... I guess we could do... Like this. And then what if we put an angle down like this? And that, in theory, should stop them from being able to get out. Although I guess they could probably get out this way. Yeah. There needs to be, like, windows you can attach to things. You know what we couldn't do? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I guess we could just put baskets on here. And that should put, yeah. Jeff and I are on the same wavelength. You can try those rebars, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> completely blind them. Fuck. There. Alright, that should prevent... You can stand up in here. I don't think they were standing up in here. Okay, we need rebar. <laughs> we'll stick with that for now. And then once we... Once we can find some rebar. Hopefully we'll be good. You guys ready to fly down the road now? Put some stuff in the baskets? Oh yeah, I can get rid of that diesel engine. Oh my god, we're going so fast now. What is this? What is this speed that I've never seen before? I have not known for so long. I am speed. Speed me rock. I'm sure we will eventually. Could run out that s that suite you have to pay help pay for gas. <laughs> it's a mobile timeshare. <laughs> it also doubles as a nice meeting place to sell people your timeshare. Yeah, just step inside the van. I wanna, I wanna have a conversation with you. I wanna talk to you about something. <laughs> you see that beautiful porch on the back there? That could be yours. Once every year, a B and B, yeah. 
suddenly you wake up and there's three zombies back there with you, just hanging out. This guy offered my dad $50 if he sat through their time stir pitch. It's so ridiculous. And they're so relentless with it, too. They fucking work. They got a timeshare. Oof. Damn. It, is your dad the type of person to usually fall for that, or did he get, like, relentless, relentlessly, like, pushed into it? A return on the investment for that guy? I'm sure it's really good. Rollovers every few kilometers. That's a pretty good timeshare. Oh, well, that's not bad, then. Does your dad try to sell timeshares to people now, too? <laughs> Has your dad ever offered you $50 to listen to him talk about something? <laughs> now, son, come sit next to me. I want to have a conversation with you. <laughs> I got $50 here for you. You just got to sit and listen. Place has a resort in Orlando, so we actually use it whenever we go to Disney. Nice. How would you like to afford the unaffordable? <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine you just drive this speed the whole way through the game. Couldn't be me. Would not be me. My horny ass could never. Where's all the buildings at? We need some supplies, some supplies. We're also guaranteed to be crashing soon. I can feel it in my bones. Surely a rock is going to come up soon, right? Jokes on him, your dad would have sat through it for $15. <laughs> Freaking got him, dude. Ooh! Okay. Okay. Oh my god, I need to eat. And drink. And be merry. Also need to do that in real life at some point. I'm a thirsty boy right now. Somehow we avoided all rocks at top speed. The best to ever do it. One for rock, two for bunny, three for pole. <laughs> Pallets are game changing, they really are. They made a game for the Renfield movie? Did they actually? Like a full fledged game or just like you go to this website and play a goofy dumb game 
It's like a copy plaster of vampire. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. I could have charged for those. The pallets? Or the Renfield game? It's four dollars. Wasn't fucking Vampire Suppliers or Survivors three? Or <laughs> Where did they bump that price up? I forget. I remember buying it for like three or two or something like that and just being like this is a goofy, goofy deal. There's no way it has any amount of depth compared to Vampire Survivors. I mean... Right? <laughs> Dude, did you know that they also made a game for that D&D movie? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> you gotta buy a bunch of books and shit? And then have friends to play with. But they they put a lot of thought into it. For just for just a movie. Oh, right, we have shit on our roof. <laughs> it's like, why did we get stuck? That's why. Um, there's another light. No boys. Heard they made a few movies based on D and D Star Wars. Are you saying the role-playing Star Wars game? Someone's been here. They know. How are we doing on gas, by the way? I don't think I've filled that up in a while. <laughs> huh. Not doing too bad. The benefit of building this now is we have even more space to store things up here. Might as well get some squats in while we're drinking. The new shooter game that's getting released looks super realistic. I don't, don't know what you're talking about. Don't most shooters look relatively realistic these days? Can't let the zombies out squat you? True. Isn't that part of, um... Wasn't that... The one of the jokes from uh, what movie was that? Zombie Land, I want to say, is you gotta have like agility or whatever so you can outrun them. I can't get out of this freaking van. Fuck. There we go. Oh no, that's. That one looks like it's just recording. That's how realistic game is called unrecorded. It looks like a recording, but it's called unrecording. Like limber up or something. I think they made the joke in Zombieland too. If I mean, I would imagine it's a, a common joke in zombie movies because obviously you're going to want to outrun the zombies. Okay. Um... Uh, Let me out. Okay, there we go. You'll see what I mean if you look it up. <clears throat> you said it's unrecorded? 
I'll look it up after stream. I'll do my damn just to remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta find more boys before we end today. Even though I know if the moment we save and reload, they're gonna disappear. Which will be sad. Is there a way to lower how often it autosaves? I would imagine there is, right? Misc? Maybe? Autosave? No? Doesn't look like it. Okay. It's probably good that it autosaves as often as it does, though. Looks good, but the body cam position. Oh, I think I have heard of that game now that you said body cam. What the fuck? Is that boat in the freaking road? <laughs> Excuse you? Alright, cool. Good placement. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're, we're chilling. We're chilling. No problems here. No siree, Bob. We didn't even get to name the other zombies that died. We had Craig Jr. and two unnamed boys. Speedometer's almost wrapped all the way back around again. Does it auto save by distance or is it by time? Because I feel like it doesn't usually auto save this often. friends. You hate to see it. We can use these as rebar for now. <laughs> <laughs> Looks interesting, but I can't get hyped among anymore for trailers. True. This freaking sun is in the blinding me Oop. I should make it so you can't get out They'll just try to tip us over now. <laughs> Surely that's better, right? These are shotgun shells, right? Yeah. Hmm. 
Oh my god, there's so much gas in here. No, I thought that said gas before. Is there no re re rebar in here? Or just another hand would be nice. Maybe. Game. Please. Doesn't look like it. Unfortunately. Alright. Uh, we do have another basket though. Another pallet. True. The only issue is things automatically connect to the pallet. So when it's on the ground under a million things... It's a pain in the ass to get out. That one wasn't too bad. Where'd the other basket we got? Ooh. That should be good. We need a flyby drop camera for speed shots. I mean, you can hold C while you're driving and it'll just drop a camera behind you. And then you drive off into the sunset. It almost has too much content now. How dare you? <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of complaint is that? Which is in this one up here. Oh, it's full. Well then. There we go. Alright. I think we're ready for one more boy. This is empty, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys didn't see the miss. You only saw the shot that landed. Real VR su support would be awesome. Did they add VR, but it's not, like, really anything? It's kind of just you can use your VR as a monitor. I was reading the patch notes, and I saw that come up, and I was like, that's, that's a weird, weird thing to put in. All right, we're just going to leave that basket. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, how am I... Food... Perfect. We're s slowly healing. It's crap experimental. Yeah. I'm sure they'll do it eventually. What the fuck? Well, there's one downside to having uh, <laughs> pallets as walls. Tumbleweeds will just come over and grab on. <laughs> well, luckily uh, we lost nothing. Tumbleweeds should break. <laughs> you would you would hope so, but apparently they uh, 
they grab right onto your pellets and don't let go and decide to make you flip. I'm going to avoid that one. That would have been ridiculous if it grabbed on as I was passing by. Ridiculous. Had to place your pallets higher on your bus because of that. I don't know if we can. <laughs> I don't know if we have that luxury. It's already kind of a step up to get into the back area. So I'm not sure if they'll be able to get up there. But we'll find out. The wheat of death. Yes, kill me, tumbleweed. Kill me. Looking like a, a hedgehog, and not because the barrels are blue. Inspect the car before you take off, yeah. We might have to. Oh god, oh my god! <laughs> These autosaves are hitting at the worst times, holy... Of the lost time glitches? What's the lost time glitches? Holy fuck. <laughs> We're cruising. crazy that we were finding zombies at every stop and then I had to kill them all and now we haven't found a single one. The game knows. It knows how inhumane of a practice we've been running. It saves while you're doing with ludicrous speed and when it reloads you're 50 meters down the road. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love those. All right. Speaking of finding zombies. The zombies went into hiding. They know. I'm glad I didn't decide to go down that way. Because we would have gone careening. Word got out about me. I'm the famous zombie wrangler. Mm. World famous, world renowned. I wish you could like spray paint things on vehicles instead of just coloring the whole thing. So let's spin it this way so that the door's right there. We need a garage door opener for the gates. Okay. Honey, I'm home. 
to be blood. I'm going to put my... Well, I'll put my brain. Anyone in here? Anyone in here? Anyone in here? Anyone in here? Hello? 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 Where is everybody? I hear you. I've got a new home for you. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't want that basket anyway. Any sausages? Who's got the sausage? Are they all upstairs? Why do shovels always spawn in the middle of things? I haven't seen a shovel I could grab yet. Alright, sounds like they're all upstairs. Okay. I've got a proposition for you. Come sit in my van and let me tell you about... I got fifty dollars for you if you listen to me out. Hear me out. I've got an amazing opportunity Everyone has to die for you to Why not now? afford the unaffordable. One leg here, one leg <laughs> Skeletons there. always spawn in missionary because that's how they die. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, the world famous zombie wrangler has filed his first wrangle. What will he do? Don't be afraid. I'm just trying to rip off your face and use it as my own. Mm hmm. I hope you get the chance. No, son of a bitch. Come back. I'm out of practice. It's been so long. My legs are not so good, so please stop. I want to take a look at you. Damn it. Damn it. I gotta have my le my arms not that far out. My legs are not so good, so please stop. I want to take a look at you. Mm hmm. Why are you, why? What are you doing? Maybe if I do something like that. Fuck. Can't, I can't get a good position on it. I'm too out of practice. Oh my god, my health. Oh, he's in. Okay. Walk over here. If you if you could be so kind. Can they not get into their porch? Hang on, let's, let's test this out real quick. 
Oh, nice. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I don't have much health, though. We're gonna sleep real quick. Oh no! Okay. I'm glad he didn't try to pull me out. Alright, I don't. Shit. Hang on, let me let me prep. You gotta let me prep, dude. I don't think I have the health to do one, another one right now. I think we have to run with one currently. I guess if I'm not going to capture him, I can just kill him. I don't want to kill him, though. I love them. <laughs> it's like a Looney Tunes fight right here. He's, he's just he's just leaving. All right, we'll see if them being able to stand up back there helps at all. For now, and then we'll add more as we have more more HP. Looks a bit like a safari truck. It really does. Oh, he jumping. Don't make me hurt you. I don't want to. I don't want to kill you. I just want to learn from you. What is this? It's a rock. No, I want to examine you. Learn from you. He's not standing up back there. He's not even back there, actually. Stand up, bud. Oh, he dancing. Oh god, my eyeballs. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting up to speed. I don't know if it's because he's so far back or what, but no, it's he's definitely still affecting the driving. If he would stand up. Why won't you stand up? Oh, the tilted roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How could we fix that? I don't know if that would really help, though. I, mean, I would imagine it would still affect the driving, even if he's squatted like that, or standing up. But who knows? Who knows?
All I know is that this wonderful experiment gets to continue, and that's all that that's all that matters. Even if it is just one guy. He's my boy. What do bars and straighten the roof or at another Oh yeah, bars would definitely help. Yeah, if we can find the metal bars, I think that would be the the best path to doing it. One out of one have survived. Yeah, yeah. Just this is the first zombie we've done. So true. No others have been around. <laughs> Does health go up over time? It should. As long as I have am not like starving or anything, I think. Pretty sure. So at some point, we should have enough health to get and try to get another. At least he has a poop hole back there. That's good. Gotta get rid of your poop somehow. I gotta pick my own up. My own up. He has he has a hole to shit in. That's luxury right there. This guy is living the life of luxury. got a poop hole, he's got a bunch of lights. <laughs> Not to mention that he's already squatting just to open the ports and fire off a torpedo. So true. God, I wish that were me. They're chatting with himself too. I'm just happy that they uh, they're able to keep themselves busy back there. I was worried there wouldn't be enough enrichment for them, but it seems like it seems like they really have a great time back there. Was <laughs> I your wife? We got him down there. <laughs> Don't put your head back. He's done looking up now. Hang on. I don't understand this this world. I live in this world. Kind of risky to do that going uphill, but I think we're good. Oh boy. Uh, he stood up and 
now the car doesn't want to move like at all. Like we just got on a steeper hill, but he also just stood up, so I'm not sure which which caused what. Can you can you squat for a second, buddy? Can you can you squat? Give me a, give me a good little squat real quick. No, we're struggling now. It's wipe time now. No, we we were doing fine until like he stood up. Even after I stopped, yeah, I can't move at all now, and we're like I should be able to get out of this. Wait, what? Oh, I am so we need to get a pallet under there. He's anchoring us by standing on the sand. <laughs> Hang on, we might be able to pull him up. Hey, come here. This. You're so you're so right. But you should come in here more. Seem to be clipping through the pallet, are they? I am just <laughs> trying to be your friend. Stay still. Come up here. He seems like he can walk. I don't want to kill you, bud. Okay, now say that over here. Oh, he wants to. I think he is stuck. No! I'm going to call him Big Toes. Just when he got a name, too. Pull out the seat. Run, little squirrel, run. Oh, oh, wee, ooh, ooh. oh no, the parking brake's not on. Uh, <laughs> My legs are not so good, so please stop. I want to take a look at you. Okay. Uh, which one has two pallets? This one? Sometimes. Why not now? My legs are not so good, so please stop. I want to take a look at you. Don't run. That should be good. Has to die sometimes. Okay. Why not now? Ooh. Yep, <laughs> your poop hole's been revoked. No poop privileges anymore, big guy. Until you figure out how to keep your feet, hands and feet in the vehicle at all times. Poop privileges are revoked. He's coming. He's coming. Here he comes. Oh no. I am coming. Come over here and have this one out of the bed. I can't tell the difference between poop and his feet. Oh, that's, that's rude. I think he's got a little bit more intelligence than that.
Still planning on using the truck engine? Probably not. Especially since we probably can't fit it in. This thing is not moving. What happened? That he... Toss it? Do you think that's weighing us down that much? I saw a rabbit over here earlier. Hopefully it doesn't pop out and murder us. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I like that he just started coughing as soon as the fucking tire smoke hit him. But the bus engine fits provided you use big wheels so the engine doesn't grind on the ground. I think we're good with the engine we got. We got the Plymouth and these guys slow us down a ton as it is. Unless... Unless they would counteract the amount that the zombies slow us down. I think we stick with the Plymouth. I and mean, we could try it, but we are still stocked up on diesel and oil. I think it right now it's just going up the hill. is causing us to get slowed down a ton. Got to angle a light better, I think. This is, we are going extremely slow right now. Bus engine is low prof profile, don't need the big wheels. Forgetting to get him food and a TV. <laughs> Gotta get him a little bit more enrichment before he loses it. Into that thunderstorm I was supposed to get, but it it never came. There was one flash of lightning, and that was it. Is she on wood? Remember? Oh, true, 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 true. He's good. Uh oh, I don't think we're making it up this hill. Especially with him stomping back there. Yeah, we're going backwards now. Some magazines will do if you have a, if you don't have a TV. That's true. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at him go back there. He's zooming. He has the stars in the landscape as entertainment. This man's gonna be charting the stars by the time we're done. On the road. On the road again. 
<laughs> Someday we'll get to the top of this hill. And I'm 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 living for it. I'm here. I can't wait for that day to happen. Big wheels might give you more torque. I'm willing to try it out. I don't think we're going fast enough for the floatiness of them to really affect it too much anyway. Or to be too obnoxious. They give more speed, less torque. That's the opposite of what we want then. Okay, we finally are not squealing our tires. Can you imagine a world where we're not squealing tires forever? <laughs> Some little moped wheels? Yeah, yeah. If the big ones make it faster and less torque, then the moped wheels will make it slower and more torque. But he's chilling. He is. Good old strong feet. My boy. He looks more human when he's not squatting. <laughs> kind of makes you feel bad trapping him in a a cage. <laughs> oh. Nope. He heard you. He knows. He's like fine. Moped wheels aren't smaller, just thinner. Good for mobility, bad for torque. Makes sense. Got to rest to grow those quads. Can't just squat nonstop. That's true. That's a that's a tough position to stay in for a long time. Bus stop up ahead. Maybe a bus will spawn. Bus spawn? Bus spawn? Fingers crossed, bus spawn? Nope. No bus. That was freaking wicked, dude. Did you see that air we got? I'm actually surprised that didn't kill him. Oh, we've gone off a jump with him before. Or not with this specific one, but with a zombie before. Ooh. Oh my god, we're actually going a speed over like 20. I squat in most of Asia for everything, eating, pooping, cooking. Bunch of squatters. And when I squat, it's illegal, and I get kicked out of houses. The injustices in this world, I tell you what. 
Whatever happened to squatters' rights, you know? He might be far enough back now that it's not affecting the turning, at least, of the car. So I don't have to constantly hit a direction to keep going straight. I would imagine he's still affecting the speed, but the turning isn't affected. Although we are going pretty fast at this point. We're going 120. So if, if there's ever a point where uh, the physics are going to be goofy and launch us 2 million feet in the air, now might be it. getting a little bouncy. <laughs> oh no. Okay. He's uh he's trying to sabotage us. I think he wants out. Quit quit jumping. <laughs> He wants friends. Well, we're not going to get him friends if we don't make it to where we're going. Holy crap. <laughs> he's making the ass fly, yeah. He's, he's testing the suspension. He's making sure everything on the car is in tip-top shape. Please, please. Strong feet. I beg you. We get it. Your feet are strong. Holy shit. Holy shit. Car's hitting the road like a chisel. Every once in a while we just like nose dive for a second. Red Big Toe, Vehicular Inspector. <laughs> Hello, I am here to check your inspection. Please let me into the back of your car so I may hop around a little bit while you're at while you're at moving at high speeds. Oh Jesus. Come on, dude. This is uh, actually how they uh, do the uh, the driver's license exam in this world. The person just stands in the back of your car and tells you to drive. And then they make you... Oh, he died. <laughs> Look at his head spin. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> the instructor dies. Does that mean you failed? I think it might. I really do. He was a real one. Oh wait, hang on. Oh 
<laughs> Surely this won't be cause an issue, right? <laughs> Hose it down for the next victim. I mean, I mean passenger. His feet aren't too low, right? <laughs> it's too good. What is he doing with his hand? Oh, he wants a high five. High five, buddy. Thanks for thanks for passing me and not giving me my license. High five. Okay. Oh. Oh wait, that this needs to be back farther. For our next friend. Do I have a extra pallet anymore? I don't have an extra pallet anymore. True hillbilly pose. All right, we need to find a, another pallet now before we can gain a new friend. <laughs> He's telling someone to talk to the hand. He's like, talk to the hand. I don't want to hear it. I don't care about you and your problems. I've had problems, let me tell you what. I've been shoved in the back of a vehicle. The, the speed difference is insane when you don't have one in the back. stop <laughs> all right <laughs> doesn't look like there's one here unfortunately Minecraft, let's go. Who put their poop in a box? making hand puppets on the wall. Good for him. At least he's having fun in life as he did have fun in death. He's making the most of a bad situation. <laughs> we could all learn from him. Open boxes are air fresheners. Oh, I forgot about that. All right, I think that's everything we need from here. Yeah. I'm going to actually start pooping in boxes in real life and use them as air fresheners afterwards. get put on the hoarder show and a bunch of people come in and they just find a bunch of boxes full of poop 
I'm like, what are these for? Oh, it's air fresheners. Go ahead, take it. Good luck getting a, not getting on the FBI domestic terror list for pooping in boxes? Or for my buddy back here? Don't forget to eat the strings so you can hang them later. True, 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 true. That's being efficient right there. Is that a bus stop? Or is it one of the garages? Looks like a garage. Hopefully it's a garage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hopefully we can find some metal bars there. That'd be nice. And maybe a maybe a new zombie. I don't hear any mumbling. Oh my god. I fucking forgot he was there. No mumbling. Auto bars? At least. That's a lot of gas. Let's fill her up with this. No metal bars, it looks like, either. We're out of luck. We do have another pallet, though. Maybe if the cage is high enough, they won't get wedged and slow the vehicle. I'm not sure. So, are you saying to lift it up a little bit? And we're going to have to rebuild the whole cage if we did that. And it's not a cage. That's, that's, that's inhumane. It's a porch. We're not inhumane here. Just add more pallets higher. Are you trying to make me do the thing that we were trying to do to raise the roof? Oh, TV! Put the light on his nad. Oh, his hand. And ditch the roof. Would they not be able to climb the wall? Helps if you hit the right button to attach it. Sorry, it's 3 a.m. and I'm baked. Angle it in a little? I don't know if I'm getting what you're saying, man. If the cage is high enough, they won't get wedged and slow the vehicle. Just add more pallets higher. 
Are you saying to... Hang on. Let me just do one of these real quick. Let's make it daytime. Oh god. Come on. No, the TV. Okay, so they don't... Things don't stick to the sides of pallets. Stack the pallet too high and lean them in at an angle. Why can't I attach? There we go. Oh, right. Uh, we'll figure that out once we find a dude. <laughs> now we're fine. We've got fuel. Actually... Yeah, we'll keep going. Now he's just shielding his face from the light. It's too bright. He hates the light. Hey, 
I hate how hard it is to find the metal boxes sometimes. Or not the metal boxes, the metal bars. I always want to collect them as much as I can, and then I do, and then I have no use for them, and then I, when I do have a use for them, I've tossed them, and they're gone. second. Yeah, I forgot I put the TV back for there for them. I'm sure that'll be nice for them when they they finally show up. Maybe we can get a, some Vigimer games for them. I use them to carry a car on the side of my bus. It sucks having to reset it every time I start the game. Carry a car on the side of your bus? Oh, what? One time we had it so that there was a, a barrel attached to the side of the car upside down and we had like a one of the the tubes attached to it into the fuel tank. It worked for a little bit and then it, every once in a while it would disconnect and just spill gas everywhere. It was cool though. It was like having extra gas or having an extra big fuel tank. Oh, there's a boy. I'm not set up to get him though, right now. Um, actually, what if, let's, Let's end for tonight. It's been eight and a half hours, I'm realizing right now. Um, I'm going to end for tonight. We'll leave this guy here, though, so that when we start next time, we can potentially capture him. And then try to have some more zombie boys. Zomboys. I'm going to put this up. But thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if you're interested, tomorrow we do, or on Saturdays, we do community night. Uh, and then there's also the Discord, if you wish to join. Have a good night. See you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to raid someone. Does anyone have a good raid target other than... I hate... I hate... Twitch's raid thing. It never... It shows the four people yeah, you watch who have the highest viewers which why would i want to raid people with the highest viewers let's go raid darren yeah. actually <laughs> all right we're gonna raid darren darren the wizard all right if you guys are sticking around for the raid i'll see you there if not oh apparently i unrated raid darren the wizard uh but thanks for popping in everyone and I hope you have a good rest of your night.